W3AL quarterfinals are about to begin. We have MTW versus Cascade, a Russian-Korean mixed team, German-based against a complete or entire Russian team. Our first match is Lucifer versus Abrams. I have to prepare this. Lucifer versus Abrams. And afterwards, we have Czech versus Stinka, Cash versus Ace, Ho uh, and Hawk versus Cooper, as well as the two and two with Hawk and Cash versus Cooper and uh, Caspin. So, without further ado, our first match is running already on Last Refuge. That is an undead mirror between the Korean Lucifer and the Russian Abrams. Let's get into it. The system, of course, as always. Oh, what the hell? There we go. Uh, the system, as always. If you win two matches or two maps and your opponent, like. 2-0. You get three points if you are uh, winning the match two and one. You get two points if you lose the match one to two. You get one point, and if you lose zero two, they get zero points. First clan to eight goes into the semifinals against the Soviet War Elite in the blue. For MTW, we have Michael, aka Lucifer, the old school undead, who's pretty good in Undead Mirror, but how good is he at the moment? That is the big question, I guess. Starts off with a Lich first. This uh, indicates an action-packed early on the other side for Abrams, who goes by the name of Spawn here. It's a DK Fiend build order. Thank you, Knopf, for the host. Much appreciated. So who's gonna take the lead in this quarterfinal of W3IL? Lich first always oops, uses the first Nova on a scout acolyte. I see. <laughs> Thorzen in chat waiting for his opponent next week. So MTW, as I said before in the intro, um, coming from Group A, they, in the fan perspective, were expected to be the dominators of that league and when they played they were quite good Player but there were a few hiccups attack. here and there where they didn't show up lich movement is interesting to say the least ghoul gang is moving over with four ghouls already not tacking at all so this is heavy heavy aggression right on tier one this could be a fast game right there as we go into the base of abrams the graveyard is not finished yet but i think it's too late to cancel so ghouls are coming in, skeletons for Lucifer as well, and Abrams is going for the expansion right away. Ghoul is already hurt, big one is gone, but it's Player not level 2 for him. First Acolyte already down, oh boy, this is not good for the Russian at all. The harass is paying off so far, and I don't think anything was lost yet. Lucifer splitting is decent, hunting down Acolyte after Acolyte. Lich is down to 50% though, is getting blocked a little, has one more Nova now, and kills a second Acolyte. Or was it even more? Third Acolyte even. But has to get out. Will he let him die? No, he won't. But that was expensive and that cost quite a bit. Two ghouls can just easily move out. And now he has to reproduce, or he had to reproduce uh, three echoes here. That will delay his tech by far. T uh, level two, okay. But Lucifer is still not teching with this and... He's calling the ghouls again. Five of them, still pretty healthy. Oh my god, eight. Is he expecting an expansion so much? We have a sacrificial dagger, by the way, or a ritual dagger. In a pro game. All right, it's gonna be a lot of uh, regen if he's not being attacked. With the DK. Has no town portal, he can't defend at the moment. A scout sees this or should have seen this. And here we go again. One fiend to defend, we have one tower in the base as well. But here we go for the acolytes. And now, if he loses too many acolytes, he has to cancel the tech or will be down. And here comes Nova. Nice splitting by Lucifer and that's a kill, fairly easy. How many Acolytes did he lose yet? At the moment, I think zero. Spirit Tower is a little late, and the Lich almost having a Nova. Another Acolyte dead, another Acolyte dead. Oh my god, this is a disaster for the Russian. The third one dead, and another one dead. Oh my god, he is completely out of economy. The Ghouls are falling to a complete disaster for Abrams. 
He's getting pummeled. He has to cancel this tech, right? 60% done. He won't have income for such a long time. DK is not close to three. It's just a mass army of ghouls gets the second fiend. Oh, boy. That was pretty much a build order win with good execution. Nova again. Kill again. 2.6. And he's losing everything. And he's down to 11 supply. Scratch that. Nine. And another surround. There's no TP. Whoa. What a start into this series. 1-0 for Lucifer. Not even breaking a sweat. What a slaughter. Lucifer just killing him with a good old ghoul rush. Stays on tier 1 all the time. Good aggression. Throws the fiend build down a little. Oh my god. Yeah, Abrams, he is uh, kind of stale in his builds. And if Lucifer knows this... He can capitalize on that. And that's exactly what happened here. Should have been kind of expected by Abrams, I feel, because in Undead Mirror, Lucifer loves to do this. All right. 1-0 for MTW. Second game coming up on Northern Isles. And that's a pretty small map, so this could happen again. So, this could be the 3-0 for MTW right after this map, and that would be almost halfway through. Okay, game is up. Thanks to Lino, our admin for the day. And we thank uh, Bobacht for the 12 month sub. One year and counting. Thanks for all your work. Thanks for your support. And Swallow21 for the two month resub. I thank you as well. So, Northern Isles base to base should be a little shorter, even compared to Last Refuge. Not too sure, actually. Take and chat the manager of MTW. Greetings. And here we go. Michael in the red, or Lucifer in the red, Abrams in the blue. And this time, it's a fiend build. So the, the complete opposite of what he played before. No Lich Ghoul Rush. But a fairly passive approach to this matchup, which would, uh, should lead into a longer game. For Cascade for Russia, we have an early hero this time. <laughs> Lucifer apparently uh, listening to Eye of the Tiger at the moment. Okay, helped Foggy uh, to get into the mood. And that carried him to two silver medals at World Championships, so why not? Michael here taking a little play out of Foggy's book. So on paper, of course, MTW are the favorites, but we've heard and said this a lot this tournament or in the entire group stage. Maybe if they lose their steam, then you have a chance here. It should be fairly hard to defeat, especially Hawk and Cash, as they seem to be in very good shape and uh, it's going to be good ping then. I feel like you have to take down the Koreans in order to beat MTW, which is never easy. Depending on the matchup, of course. But neither of the Koreans too impressive recently. While Cash almost, almost made it out of the groups at WGL and uh, Hawk will hopefully impress us at WCG in just a week when the big... Uh, Championship there is starting. It is Lich Fiends. Wow. What the fuck? That certainly is interesting. We have an early DK, uh, late Fiend, Ted build order by Abrams. 
this tech is so late. Double ziggurat, late shop, late hero. Interesting. I don't know what his plan is with this. A player's forces are under attack. <laughs> Offline playoffs for a clan league. Okay, if you if you pay the money taker for like twenty players, easy. Of course, there's no plans for that. It's way too expensive. But if one guy out there is a little generous, feel free. A player's forces are under attack. So tier two tech on the way. Lucifer is a lot later. Will he just stay on tier one with this? Can't believe it. It's such a late spawn. Uh, such a late tech spawn. Or Abrams here stealing the big consumable. Consumables in Undead Mirrors, of course, uh, game breaking sometimes. Scroll of the Beast can be really good. On the other side, the Lich can't coil, has no healing. So it has to take a little, like, more passive approach to this. Gets a claw, which is nice. Tech finally at 23 supply. But you see the tech difference here. It's like one third. He is pretty. Oh, Nova. Not using it here. Okay. Interesting. A little slow, maybe. Just need to get some sponsors. Yeah, okay, man. You do it. <laughs> How blue-eyed is that to find a sponsor for a tournament like this? But feel free. Feel free. There's always hope, I guess. So, the thinking behind this mass fiend should be fast creeping, right? Or a strong tier one and a half to tier two. So far, that works okay. He lost the consumable on his side of the map. Again, the dagger. Is he just a fan of this or is he trolling? That's kind of the question. He used that in game one already. 25 supply for Abrams. 28 for Michael. Creeping more. Trying to own the middle of the map with the fourth fiend already. But how much more dominant can Abrams be with the early tier two? His DK is far away from level three actually. Lich got it and now Lucifer is absolutely in fighting shape. Got the Book of the Dead, used it here immediately to speed up creeping. DK, can he steal something? High Priest is up, but catch the Nova on level 2. That's so much damage, but there's no coil. But he used Dark Ritual to get more mana. Wasn't too much as the Fiend was hurt already. But there's another one coming in a bit. Kills the Skeletons, more progress. And the next Nova is possibly the death of the Death Knight. Ritual dagger used. <laughs> Wasn't too much healing, only on the Lich. You can see it here now. No unholy aura, of course, as well. What the fuck is this dagger thing? Is it a new item included recently? Yes, with patch 1.31. As you can see here, it heals 125 HP over 45 seconds. So... Uh, a region of 2.7 a second or so. Dark Ranger second and silence. No coil. Well used by Lucifer. Also decent blocks. And that's a, oh, almost a double fiend kill. He has another Nova though. Boom on DK and fiend. That could be a double kill right there. Oh no. Potion used. So the Lich is out of mana now. Oh boy. Again. What a great fight by Lucifer. This indeed smells like a tour. He had so much mana to work with. Thanks to the Book of the Dead. But why is uh, Abrams so aggressive there without a level 3 DK against the Book of the Dead, against a level 3 Lich? There's like nothing for him to win. Thank you very much, Friedolf, with the second donation of the day. 20 euros just need many micro sponsors. Players forces are under attack. <laughs> Would it be worth it to fly in 20 players? I'm not too sure. 
but okay, we can talk about it later. Some aggression coming in from Abrams, again without level 3 DK, far away actually. Wants to trigger the town portal of, uh, of Lucifer. Is there another silence? Good blocks once again to just prevent the next Nova, which isn't possible anyway. So another dagger? <laughs> yeah! Dagger number three! And potions, man. Lucifer just refusing to use a death knight here. And so far it works nicely. Preventing the coils in clutch moments. Got him with quite a few kills. And here we go again. Only three fiends for Abrams. And this lich is becoming one hell of a monster. But we got a Sobi Mask for the DK. His problem still is experience. And now Lucifer using his dominance, using his strength to steal more experience away from Abrams and gets a pendant of energy for that. If he drops that and then uses Dark Ritual, such a nice synergy. Dark Ranger only level 1 and of course not as powerful as DK and Lich. But Abrams will always be faster thanks to the Unholy Aura. So he can chase and that's not too easy for Lucifer to play against. With this Lich of course he can slow down. There's another tavern hero. What's this going to be? Ah, it's the Dark Ranger. He's forgetting about it. Sorry, I thought it was Lucifer for a second as it was blue before. So, we have Silence on Abram's side as well. Orb of Corruption is online. We finally have a Death Knight for Michael. So in the end, same hero composition, but just uh, the other way around. So what's the late game? No statue for Lucifer yet. We have double statue for Abrams, so it's getting slightly better for the Russian, who feels like expanding now. Alright. And the first rat spot, which is super hard to take. Chaos damage. And, you know, 1500 HP. Takes some time with the Orb of Corruption. It's kind of fine, though. No Banshees yet. We get Web Against Destroyers. Upgrades for Abrams, but also Creep Jack by Lucifer. And that is turning into a little problem here. The Magnetar Warrior is down, though. What did he drop, actually? Ah, Claws plus 12, as it seems. Ooh, this Lich is gonna be good. He wants this Magi and then get out. Coil before TP. Didn't get it. <laughs> nice save. DK is in trouble. Has to go for the town portal very soon. Nova! Right click is enough. Lucifer is losing that hero right there. That was kind of worth it though. TP for a level 1 hero. You kind of want progress on him for the aura, but I guess it's still fine. 45 supply for Lucifer, 45 for Abrams as well. Who starts the expansion now? Questionable timing. But Lucifer isn't checking for it. Huh. Lulz if this works. Potion of invulnerability now for him. There is only one shop on this map, plus the marketplace of course, but these items cost a lot. So you don't want to be dependent on them. Nice Lich, plus 18, and a circlet, and the orb, plus 25, oh yes. Pendant of energy number two, oh my god. There's so much mana. DK is back. Waits for the kill until the DK is there. So he can soak that up as well. But he needs the red spot, I feel. He needs level two. He's fighting like two coils up. And Nova's on the same level. So Lucifer at the moment doesn't have really an upper hand when it comes to heroes. Rather the other side around. So he's losing the first fiend immediately. And has a supply deficit with this. And on the back of this, expansion on both sides, actually. Lucifer in the bottom left. And the upper left. 
Abrams at the 12 o'clock. If both work, that would be pretty sick. But let's see. Lucifer with destroyers, but the DK again. No potion and no healing for the Korean. Oh, no. Looking good for Abrams so far. What can the destroyers really do? Not too much. Lich has still a lot of mana, though. And maybe that helps. Is there a TP on Abrams? Yes, and a big invo potion. He should be fine. And these destroyers are five supply each. Abrams loses the DK as well with the TP and an invul on him. That was maybe the ping. Lucifer TPs out with his uh, lich. Is the Dark Ranger falling as well? So close, but gets it too. Ay 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 ay. This DK loss was not necessary at all. Checking for this expansion, his own expo is running with three echoes. Lucifer still needs some time. DK back, triple hero, first abomination for the Korean. Re level 4 hero revive. That costs so much. Another invul to have all heroes safe, in theory. Abrams, you had it there, man. Almost. His lich, though. Sells the gloves. Okay. Not too sure if that's the right decision. Well, it's more damage. Plus 31. So maybe it is. Oh, snowball. To the face of the Dark Ranger. Instant kill for Abrams. We've seen this before. No magic damage, but the Lich is damage enough as it seems. Abomination dies. There was no mana anyway. Double pendant on the DK, but no mana and still no aura. He's still level 1. And the second red spot belongs to... Belongs to him as well. Gets another claw plus 12! Holy shit, man! Plus 41! This is the po most powerful Lich I have Players maybe ever seen. Take care of the Lich. And own him. Oh, imagine Gloves of Haste now. That is indeed a super Lich. New Necropolis, new Ziggurat. Lucifer at 51 supply is of course not ideal. And still the problems of levels. But he should have a lot of mana to work with. But so has uh, Abrams. Acolytes fall. Does he have a TP to get out on the Lich? Yes, he does. So good engagement. TP out. And no casualties here while his expansion is running on four acolytes, but okay, it's running. Here comes the fifth one. Main gold mines at 4,500. Abrams has an idea now. So, kind of avenging the lost acolytes. There's no TP possible. Also, very, very expensive. Both are losing their workers. And I guess it's a better trade for Abrams. Finally, we have the Unholy Aura. Still no level 3 Nova. But here we go. Four destroyers in the air for the Korean. Damage is good. Coil arrives in time. Wep is in as well. And this Lich is absolutely insane. I would just build Banshees for this Lich. There's one destroyer for Abrams as well. Fiends are falling. Can he kill them while the destroyers are still up? Big Nova right clicks. How can you heal against this Lich? Sick man and perfectly calculated by the Russian as well. So the Dark Ranger is down. Lich for Lucifer in trouble and he kills him with the Nova. GG. And that was uh, Abrams equalizing this. After the stomp on map number one, this is not what was to be expected, but Lucifer absolutely failing to reach critical levels. Where was uh, the level 2 DK? Why the Dark Ranger second? All questionable decisions, I guess. Thank you, Mouse Mouse Mouse, for the 28-month resub. And of course, on a map like this, you cannot allow your opponent to get two red spots. Of course, he was a little lucky with the plus 12 twice. But, uh... 
He gave him those spots. He just gave him those spots. With the fight in the bottom right. Lucifer, I don't know, was a weird game. He got Jack. Yeah, it's true. Oh, game is up. We're going to... What is it? I'm not too sure. We'll see. Oh, not up yet. But those are pretty cool mirrors so far. I mean, if if we get a little more time, this will most likely evolve into into mass destroyers. But uh, we ended this at the perfect time, I guess. And now concealed hills will bring the decision to m match number one. As I said, we have these games coming up: Check versus Stinker, Cash versus Ace. And Hawk versus Cooper as the one on ones, as well as Hawk and Cash versus uh, Cooper and Caspant in the two on two. Later today, we have Firestalkers versus UMAD. So, more action here at Back to Warcraft with W3IL quarterfinals. If you want to help this league survive, we have a crowdfunding going on at Maturino. Type exclamation mark W3IL to find the link to the crowdfunding. Uh, page if you like clan wars if you want to support the european uh, scene feel free to leave a little tip there for the awesome orga of warcraft3.info it's check versus cooper there was an update whoopsie check versus cooper all right got it thank you duro i would love to have a second season uh, or a third season even i think the second season is uh Pretty much safe, I'm not too sure. Hope so. You can make it uh, more likely, of course, if you contribute to W3IL. We have contributed as well, right at the start of the league. A little bit of our own pocket money to help the players uh, and the teams. I mean, this led to quite a few cool Western teams picking up players, right? Like MTW, like Ocean is, Rage and Dust. Oh, and the head admin says uh, three seasons are confirmed. Awesome. That's pretty damn awesome. So, Concealed Hills, map number one, uh, map number three. Let's go. Lucifer again in the blue. His opponent, Abrams, in the red. Whoever wins this takes the lead, of course, in the entire clan war. Abrams here, the winner of game number two. That was his map choice, though. With, once again, a Fiend build order, as it seems. Lucifer, what's his play? I guess this looks like ghouls again. And he was so successful with it. On Last Refuge. So, Ted Fiends. Here. Wait, is he playing? Okay, there's the shop. Will Abrams fall to this once again? Oh, DK it is. So, Ted Fiends 2. We have the first very mirror match. I thought with a build like this it's oftentimes lich, but apparently it's not. I'm so out of touch with Unlet Mirror in general.
So same opening for them for the first time. Can Lucifer play standard? He didn't do it this series yet. <laughs> Spawn is again, or Abrams is again, uh, preparing for this ghoul push to come. And both start off passively. It's kind of easy to creep here with the two medium armor trolls. But that should be a fast attack for Lucifer then, right? Ah, he's losing a, lot, uh, using a lot of gold as well. But everything is a little slower for the Korean. Ring of protection for Abrams, not the greatest. But same goes for Lucifer, which is basically a protection from the Orb of Corruption. Tier 2 on the way. And yeah, he is a little faster. Using not so many ghouls. Losing a bit of time. But makes up for it. With a fast attack. So level 2 on the DK will be a little earlier. Lucifer still prioritizes the spider crab, despite there's no tomb of experience anymore. So focus strength, even more tankiness. He's still not tacking. He has the resources for such a long time. There we go. Oh boy. That's a quarter of a tech. I like this in the Rubian Tower. Still in range. I mean, if you go here with ghouls, this tower can't reach anymore. But you can react faster. So ghouls are moving over after Abram saw the base build. So you can bypass this tower, go here. Oh, Lucifer is not mining with one of the ghouls. This might hurt. It's a little two and a half going for a big creep spot. He has a staff now, sees this coming. Fakes a TP. <laughs> and it works for now. <laughs> so no staff home. This is a TP now. So he moved in again. Is this a trap by Lucifer? Not really. Everything is slow though. Can he get a surround is the question. He's trying to get up front. But he moves out just barely. Oh, is he? He's trying. He's definitely trying and finds himself in a surround all of a sudden. But there he gets the death arrow. And again, he sold the TP. Oh no, Abram. It's a double surround, basically. No one has a TP anymore. Both will go... Both are falling. Who gets the experience, though? I'm not too sure. Lucifer was close to three. He didn't get it. So... Abram's got the experience. Oh, boy. Lucifer can be a little... Happy that he wasn't level 3, so it's all faster. And doesn't cost so many resources, but... Oh boy, what a start. Yeah, Aram's got the experience, otherwise Lucifer would have been level 3. Panda second? What the fuck? In Undead Mirror. Why, though? Breath of fire creeping. All right. First a Dark Ranger second, now a Panda second. Can of course be coiled. So definitely could fall victim to the coil and the Nova. Trying to get the ghouls away. There's another ghoul here for Abrams. Multitasking is slightly lacking. Is he expecting like way more ghouls or is he even expecting Gargs? Not too sure. This uh, all delayed the Lich, I guess, for Abrams, but he's not playing one yet. He saw the panda, of course, with these ghouls as he felt the breath of fire. And Lucifer just creeping the middle of the map, or continues to creep the middle of the map for his level 3. But man, how important for Abrams to get this experience. He was catching up with that kill so much. And now he's jagging. Very, very obvious creep jack. Can he steal this one now? I think the mass of ghouls should be too much. Just for trying to get this around. But actually gets it there. 
Didn't expect this really. No, level 3 gets the coil, but this is just uh, delaying the inevitable. But the panda finds himself in a surround as well. It's not blocking, he blocks himself. Frostborn hungers, but the ghoul claws gets it. Second kill for Abrams. Counter surrounds to save the fiends for a little longer. What the hell is this game? Abrams might be losing this one fiend. There's almost no damage on this DK, but double staff? What the hell? This is seriously weird. A Tier 3 on the way a lot faster here. It's double Slaughterhouse for Lucifer. The surround games continues. But I guess at this point, no one is really getting anything from it. That was the last coil. Surround again. Sticks. But yeah, gets out with a staff. Who stays in the fight though. Another Lich is coming. No orb yet, but the DK. The staff is on cooldown. Hello, Nova. Level 3 DK dead once more. Oh boy. That's what you get for fighting with the panda. What a mid game. What a freaking weird mid game this is. Trying to get us around again with an illusion. Hello Nova. Illusion once more. Abrams with the plays. If he can follow this up with a surround, that would be awesome. And most likely the GG. Ghoul in front. Oh, squishes through this little look at the forest. Oh man. Abrams absolutely taking the lead. Better hero combo. Pan has level 2. Okay. Now goes into mass destroyers as it seems. Abrams needs to get some fiends out with web. A player's forces are under attack. No orb yet, right? Didn't bring it. So the DK has to move back at the orb. Has a lot of goals that should be fine. There's no ranged hero for Lucifer at the moment. I'm not sure if he's gonna queue a Lich afterwards. He has no resources for it at the moment. Expansion again as it seems. School Frenzy makes surrounds even more likely. We have one, two, three of them still up. And a lot of scouting going on by Abrams. Seeing, okay, can I get this red spot? Still, oh my god, he has the orb on the panda now. But he comes in with a nice breath of fire, I guess. Coil Nova. Who got it? Still not sure. Breath of fire heals a lot. This Acolyte. I will not do too much. Clopos 12 again, Lul's third one for Abrams. Who's losing quite a bit. Coil goes into nowhere. Five supply lead all of a sudden for the Korean. And boy, more and more ghouls are falling. Even the one destroyer is getting saved. Still no claw transfer. Oh my god, Abrams is losing everything in this fight. Too ambitious. Now the Lich is taking over. Two destroyers hurt, but Coil was ready. <laughs> oh my god, the series. Uh, Clown Fiesta indeed, level 4. <coughs> Both players lost a lot. But high level undead heroes is what we want to see, right? If you only had a nuke now for the Nova, but he doesn't. Thank you, Ben Fabo, for the 28 month resub. Panda level three and a half. All right. But if we go into Destroyer Mirror now, which we don't, but then the Panda would be absolutely useless. Nice lasted by Luz. First stepping up his game a little. Level four for him as well. So Aura equalized, I guess. If he's not going for Death Pack, no, he's not. For uh, 2 2. 
and the panda level three. Lich is again pretty close to being a weapon. Abrams is going for abominations. Lucifer pulled a lot of his ghouls, so he has to reproduce them, sends them into the fight immediately. So, looks like Abrams is skipping on destroyers. Not sure if he has the upgrade already. What a back and forth, man. Ben Fabu says, by the way, uh, greetings to Gem. <laughs> Thanks, man. A creep jack viewer, apparently. Ooh, flute. Would be even better in Fiend Mirror, which Lucifer is kind of refusing uh, to use. But he has a Lich on his own now. Triple hero combo. We have no Dark Ranger on Abram's side yet. Also no Crypt Lord. Like, no third hero in general. A player's forces are under attack. Second red spot goes to... Oh, nice. Goes to Abrams as well. So once more... Oh, okay, Lucy got the flute, but on the last uh, map he got like two... Or zero out of two red spots. Here's one out of three. He's losing quite a bit of experience and the big items because of it. Granted, he had good items anyway. And expansion. Seems like he's very sure. Still no Dark Ranger, but was this scouted? Yeah, where did he scout? I don't know. Still Claws plus 9 on the Panda, which is weird. No TP, right? No. And now we have a Dark Ranger. Sees the Acolyte dying. Kind of like, feels like Abrams knows that there is an expansion. Destroyer form finally ready. And then Invul, I guess. Yes, TP and Invul. But Lucifer can't defend this. He got like one staff left. But you don't want to defend this with your heroes, so the expo is cancelled once more. Claws, of course, have a synergy with Drunken Brawler, but uh, the thing with ranged units is you can, like, choose your enemies way better. As you can op operate from range, obviously. So, that helps. Hello Nova, hello Silence. Not too easy to engage, but Lucifer does it well with almost a surround on the ledge. Dropping hard in, in HP. So, Invo Potion used early. This Breath of Fire was nice. Heal Scroll by Lucifer used nicely as well. And Abrams is not kiting at all against this, which he kind of has to. Loses another Fiend. He's getting out. 4 4 2 heroes for the Korean. 4 3 1. So, experience wise. Looks for is ahead, and he's building a necropolis a at the natural of his opponent. The clown moves. Well, if he has the gold, it's a decent scout, I guess, but he kind of doesn't. Breaking upkeep now. Maybe Abrams will just not expect it. Web again, but good breath of fire. I think he has no invul, uh, no heal scroll here. Nope. And that makes the panda pretty damn strong. He's finding good angles. He throws good AoEs, and the fiends are not that strong to stay alive against this double AoE. Oh boy, that nuke. Lich survives for now. A bomb versus A bomb in the front. But Abrams is losing way too much. Nova right clicks. Down is the Dark Ranger. Had no items on her. And it looks like the Korean got this, even though 
he had this wonky, wonky mid game where he lost the heroes. Now, Abram's trying to counter nuke though. There's a big healing, he uses that. And the second last abomination for Abram's down as well. Just hoping for a nuke, but this Lich can't sustain no longer. And still so many ghouls. Like, despite the Lich, and despite good mana and good Nova levels on this Lich, how are there still ghouls in this fight? Pretty sick what they do with the fiends, though. These new frenzy ghouls. I kind of like it. So, we're going into Destroyer Wars, but the Lich, man, this coil was just way too late. And everything for Lucifer survives. Oh lol, double lich kill by the way. <laughs> I didn't see the second one. <laughs> there is an expansion coming up. But cancelled. I didn't see the second lich kill, just the first one. It was kind of confusing with all the destroyers in the air. Tavern revived by Abrams though. Just running away. Lucifer rebuilding the lich at the altar, which takes uh, around two minutes. And with that, Abram should be able to pick this fight. As the Orb of Corruption is just so strong and the Lich in general is so strong. <sighs> Trouble. Invo Potion used. He just refuses to use a TP in this entire series, right? I think he used like two. Still chasing. Aura level 3, by the way. For Abrams. And for Lucifer as well. They are super fast, but no. No, 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 no. Oh, I was ready. No Nova at the moment. Keeping his DK safe now is Lucifer, which is quite nice. Man, this game is still not decided. Lucifer is not expanding here. Player's forces are under attack. And Abram's already selling stuff. Yeah, sell the altar in a game like this. I'm not sure if that's the right decision. 90 gold in a game where I think we saw like 10 heroes popping. Mm, I don't know. You can always go for a Tavern Revive, of course, but that's so expensive. Upgrades coming in. For the Destroyers. 2-0 on the way. 2-0 ready. Just more ghouls. Close to 5 Panda. Lich is far away, but close to this important level 4. Good scouting. Is the duration long enough? Doubt it. Ah, and the spell is quick. Whew, this game on a knife's edge now. Main gold mines 500. Is Abram preparing for one big push? Lucifer can be pretty chill about this entire situation. But Abrams has no second gold mine coming up. Still, Lucifer is the one attacking. Maybe just poking into the base, checking what his opponent's up to. Mass Destroyer is now as well. Where is the coil? The Dark Ranger just melting. Here's the coil finally on the Lich, but Invo Potion as well. It's just too much focus fire. Abram's Heroes is nothing else that Lucifer does. It's hero focus, hero focus, hero focus. And it works so well. DK is far away. Has to get a potion for this Lich, but resources are kind of low. Potion used, but only for so long. DK comes back, gets a coil out. But man. It's a lot of destroyers, yep. But nothing else. Just nothing else. And there's so much more mana for Michael. For Lucifer. 
There's second coil, but come on. Can he reach for a Nova? There's no mana. So Abrams can kite a little with these Novas. A player's forces are under attack. But that's about it. No statue. 66 supply. And Expo up and running. He's very, very, very safe. Ghoul's trying to get in front. No coil. That's the last bit of HP he has. Abram's fighting with everything. A town is under siege. Okay. Staff out. To deal with these ghouls, I guess. Army split. Nice idea by Abram's attack. to attack here. But it's just not working. Lucifer is too much. Easily affordable to split the army and defend and attack at the same time or chase he's not really attacking anymore and with a couple of towers this should be safe abram's selling everything but he's supply stuck so he can't build more army it's just items he's very very sure apparently that with his heroes he's able to win Thank you, Axrat, for the sub for a month in a row. Greetings from Charleston, South Carolina. Greetings to you as well. Okay, so Invo Potion and Boots. Money goes into Boots. Aha. Okay, so you can chase better, that's for sure. There's a TP here, there's a heal potion on the panda, and the lich dies again super quick. And that's it, Lucifer struggling hard, but in the end takes the two and one, and that's one quarter of the job done for MTW as they take the lead here in the quarterfinal with two and one. We have three more games here today, uh, three more one-on-ones, and one, two, and two. I guess check is next. As far as I know, uh, because... Oh, it's against Cooper. No, so it's Hawk versus Cooper or 2-2. Two and two. We will see. <laughs> These are the games coming up. MTW with the lead. Cascade has to catch up. Um, Check versus Cooper. Wait. There's a mix-up. So it's Check versus... I got a mix-up there. Okay. Uh, Check versus Cooper and Hawk versus Caspent. Okay. Sorry for the little Caspent. I have to recreate this one. Caspent. There we go. So Hawk versus. Uh, Oh, no, the 2-on-2 two two is next with the two Koreans uh, versus four Russians here. Oh, my God, I need a break. Hawk versus Cash versus Caspent and Koopa. See you in a bit. 2-1 for MTW. Eight points, and we have the winner determined. See you in a bit. We are going into the 2-on-2 two two with a 2-1 lead for MTW already. And, yeah, it's 2-on-2 two two time, baby. This means uh, the overlay is a little crooked. Are the colors right? Yes, they are. Let's go into it right away without further ado. In the blue, we have from Russia team CSC, represented by Koopa and Caspent, playing Orc and Human here, and their opponents. German-based MTW, Hawk and Cash, of course, with their main races, Human and Orc as well. Resources are uh, not correct as you see, but the colors are, and that's the most important thing. Once more, if you win your game 2 and 0, oh, you get 3 points. If you win two and one, you get two points. If you lose one and two, you get one point. And if you lose zero, two, you get zero points. And it's first to eight to go into the semifinals against Swede uh, Soviet War Elite. By the way, I just got a WhatsApp that Remo is on his way home. So he will be joining for the rest of the clan war. This is, of course, the biggest team league we have in the West. If you want to support it uh, with a little donation to make sure this keeps on happening, then type exclamation mark W3I 
L. We have an Archmage for Caspant, Cooper on the other side with uh, Blade Master. Oh, by the way. I have a little issue with this overlay thing. This is not showing anything, why not? Hmm. Whatever, uh, let's go this way. We have a Blade Master on the side of Cascade. On the other side for Cash, it's a Blade Master as well. And harassment begins while Hawk's trying to go for uh, Expo right away. Same goes for Caspin. So who's Blade Master is going to do more damage? That's the initial question here. So far, this Blade Master has not revealed himself. They are both expanding in the middle of the two bases. Hawk quite a bit faster Blade here with a Claws of attack, attack already. But okay, Blade Master is putting in the damage, so does Cash. But this is a lot faster for MTW as a Hawk, I guess, was spawning closer to this position. So far, no experience though. Decent split by Caspin, but in the end, not enough. First experience, 42. One fifth of a level last hit. Oh, works nicely for 48. And oh my god, damage is done already. And Cash just continues to impress with another worker kill and another one as the grunt comes in. Oh boy, what a slaughter. That's horrible. In the air, uh, 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 and the bottom Cooper is losing a grunt here too. And the Blade Master is super low. I mean, there's a lot of kills on the workers. So, who got the better end of this? A lot more experience for Cash. This grunt is just dead. Or is it? He can open this up. Can he go through the trees? Doesn't seem like it. More right clicks. Where's the wind walk? Oh no, there's no mana. TP out to save that grunt. Cash on the other side. No selves as well. And no mana as well. Gotta be careful. Gets the kill. Now has to walk away. But no, the block. Whoa, that was last second. So, in the end... Cash delayed the experience, uh, the expansion by a lot. Lost his TP, but got almost level two. Blade Master on the other side lost less XP, but also the TP gone. Twenty six supply for Cooper. Hawk is the aggressor now with also no level two. A That's a little better for Caspin for sure. He surrounds him and he kills him as well. No TP this time. Saves it for later as it was only a level one hero. And Expos are coming up now. Is he rebuying him? No, he has no gold for that, does he? No, just 130. And that's his level two. And the aura. And a lot of mana. Raider Walker for Cash with the Shadow Hunter coming. And more harass from Cash himself. Where's the speed scroll? But with the Arcane Tower up, no mana. Another kill on the worker, delaying the expansion even more. Well, this expo is already up, and Caspin is uh, harassing this a little, but not too much. But the Orc base is exposed. And that's quite some damage. Combined attack by Cascade. And they will definitely get this totem. And they will most likely get this burrow as well. That's, that hurts. Like, they are not in a position to defend this, really. Where are the heroes? Now the Shadow Hunter comes up. But this is major damage done. Also, almost no mining for cash. Who supply stuck now as well. Losing a grunt to no heal wave, but hex. Okay. And now Hawk comes in finally with his Archmage back on the battlefield. This could be a nice uh, rebound here for MTW. Trying to click Hawk's Archmage who finally levels up to level 2 as well. There is tier 2, so also potions available in the shop, which saves him. 
What a hectic early game. Tier 2, Warmill, Raider, Walker coming for Cooper. Oh boy, this blade is most likely dead. Another Sharkrom attack and yeah, Cascade is playing this. I feel a lot better. A player's forces are under attack. Still struggling with the expo a little, but tier 2 is on the way here to Hawk at the same time. Whew, this hurt though. Not having Spirit Link and the delayed this spell. That hurts a lot. And the second hero kill of Cascade. I think slowing down a little bit. Just got informed by Duro that Cooper won all two and twos he was involved in. That's pretty crazy. The orc on the cascade side here, of course. And he has to be careful with his blade now, though. Chain lightning! <sighs> Playing with fire. Playing with fire still with a burning archer. Like, literally playing with fire. But okay, saves him. Same spot for Caspin. Gearing up towards level 3. Heal wave is ready. So he got that one. Cash was level 2 himself with Claws plus 6. Okay. The humans will arrive at tier 2 shortly. Now the war mill. Now the walkers. Blade Master is still not back. Oh boy. Now we go into the base again with the first little siege damage coming in from the raiders. Does he have pillage? Mm, I think so. Hawk is engaging, is defending at home. Human versus orc. One on one basically. So many footmen getting this around. Well done by Hawk. The WCG challenger who will be going to Xi'an in maybe a week. Critical strike for 56, a little skirmish here as well. But Cash should be able to defend this here, I think. It feels like Hawk is getting quite some stuff done. Now magic damage comes in to help deal with these footmen. Another surround. Man, Hawk is catching up quickly here if he's not losing too many footmen. But... Oh, nice, 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 nice. This speed scroll was great. Trying to get a surround. Does he have the sustain? I guess so. Must be a TP with the critical strikes coming in. And Cooper saves everything. The fuck, man? That was pretty impressive. Mountain King second, tier 3 by Hawk. On the other side, we stay at tier 2, getting a Blood Mage double sanctum. A Damn it. Cooper, really impressive here. Cash crept up to level 3. By the way, thank you, Coiler, for the 2 month resub and Ramontic Rave for the 5 euro donation. Nice content, thank you. Yeah, still uh, feeling a little rusty with the commentary, but uh, thank you for the contribution, man. Much appreciated. Cash. Taste blood in the water, trying to get some kills. Heal wave was nice. He saves everything again. But for how much longer is the question? Cooldown. Oh, he's attacking his own Boro. Oh no, he's stuck or what? Kodo is stuck. That's the chance for Cash, of course. First kill, finally. Scroll of the Beast used, but he gets out of there as the TP comes in from Caspin with a Blood Mage. Oh boy. Hectic, hectic, hectic game. Thank you, Fezo Fasp, for the 11 month resub. So this is going to be mass tier 2 human attack. army against the class tier 3 human army. No sanctum still, no blacksmith. Ah, he has a double sanctum here at the expo. I see, I see, I see, I see. With a blacksmith as well. So he has the option to go for griffins later, but is that really a good option? I'm not too sure. And staff's always good. Cash is going to tier 3 as well. 
tech heavy MTW players that could give them the edge. Still quite a few camps to take. If they can't prevent fights until they are on tier three and got everything they need, that's pretty nice. One sorceress for free though. Exposing the position quite a bit. But here's the next push by Cash. Trying to get rid of these consumables. But the Hawk base is under attack as well. Trying to get the Paladin out. Man, that's, that's a pretty damn crazy 2 and 2 if you ask me. Raiders find the Alta now. There's no way he's getting that Paladin out. But how much damage is done in the base? TP home. They stay in this for now. Very aggressive TP by MTW as Hawk is coming in from the north as well. Aiming for the Blood Mage right away. Clap coming in. Heal wave a little but ho, ho, he's just melting against this Mountain King level 2. Close to level 3. Blade Master in trouble as well. Double level up. Oh boy. These claps are so good in 2 on 2s. Everything is falling for Cooper as it seems. Raider as well. A little too late. Do we have more mana on this Mountain King? No we don't. What a game-winning move by MTW. Hex on the Kodo, four supply gone, Blade Master leveling up hard on this plus 16. Blady. Second expansion by Hawk. Being taken out. And Caspin did some damage in the economy here as well. So Hawk is a little crippled at the moment, but should still be fine. 500 gold, 56 supply. On Cash's side, 52 supply, a thousand gold, Warsong upgrade, TC second. Gonna have that sweet, sweet, sweet stomp. And workshop coming. Oh no! Caspin didn't rebuild the Sanctums! He has no production with a thousand gold! Ay, 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 ay. Still tier 2 for Cooper. He has no chance to go into anything else. Then Raider Walker Kodos. Was the echo damage enough for Cascade? Caspin not transferring money. And the triple hero will be so sick late game. This MK. So. <laughs> He's plus 11.8 armor. Quite unbelievable. Okay, takes out more and more of the production of Cascade. That might be the game winning move before. Or, yeah, taking out the Sanctums. TP in now, but the clap is there immediately, and the Blood Mage has absolutely no chance to stay in this. The position also not that great. They're quite sandwiched here. This aura is working over time. It's so good. He has a Wend of Mana stealing, he has a Healed Scroll behind that, Cash is well equipped, a Furberg is coming in, okay. Well, that doesn't do too much. Another Healed Scroll on Cash's side, Blade Master under attack, no mana, but an Invul can be healed up. Reinforcements are coming, but this Blade is just killing so much. Boots on the ground. <sighs> Little gift, I guess. But it's called GG by Cascade. 3-1 to one for MTW. Great recovery from Cash and Hog who took quite a beating in the first half of this game. But then the, 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 the longer the game uh, went, the better it got for them. And then this push by Cascade into Hawk's base, they were just a little too long there. And this town portal by Cash was great. And coming home from the north, with another sandwich by MTW was great as well, and they just killed 40 supply there or something. That was a crazy start to this 2 and 2. Great, great, great early game. From especially Cooper. But Cascade is in trouble now. 3 to 1 for MTW. You kind of have to win this game, otherwise, it's gonna be uh, 5 and 1. Turtle Rock it is, and we have a new sub. Thank you. Epos Kilburn for the 29 month resub. 
as we are waiting for Remo and the next game. Remo rushing home. Turtle Rock. Haven't seen that map in a while. It's not that easy to split push there. It's a little more one on one y with battles on the two lanes. Why is Remo not using t Town Portal to get home quicker? I think he can't afford it. Maybe he was drinking yesterday and. Uh, you know, spent all his gold on potions. <laughs> I guess that's what it is. So again, here at W3IL, it is the biggest competition for Warcraft team-based events or clan leagues. Uh, for America and Europe, of course. So if you want to help supporting it, uh, there is a stretch goal to secure three seasons. That's at three thousand dollars. You can help that at Matcherino. Just type exclamation mark W three I L in the chat, and you get the link to Matcherino, where you find all the info about the crowdfunding of this tournament. Map number two. We unfortunately have wrong colors. But that's fine, I guess. Blue is Cascade, red is MTW. And we have Cooper and Caspin in the north. Once again, of course, Orc and Human, you can't really change that. I wonder if that's a Farseer for more harass now. And if there's any other deviation from the standard that we've seen before. Cash and Hawk and Red in the south, basically the same as it was in match number one. So if MTW wins here, it's gonna be five and one, and they still have Hawk and Cash one on ones. Tough, 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 tough for Cascade. They're two and two, one of the strongest in the league, but that goes for Hawk and Cash as well. Remo the Schwabian brewmaster. <laughs> oh boy, I do not want to see him uh, brewing anything. He would just blow the house up, I think. No faith. No faith in Remo. So, it's an Archmage. It's a Blade Master. I didn't expect anything else from Cooper, but what about Cash? Blade Master as well, okay. So, even in 2 and 2. We don't see the blade anymore, uh, the Farseer anymore, thanks to Critical Strike. He's just too powerful. Penguin Brewmaster. Oh boy, that would be the dream. So question now, how fast is the harass? How much do you put into creeping? And how fast do you get to the shops? Because... There are watch awards that last for the entirety of the game. Both have a blade master and both are aiming for it. This is gonna be super close. They know they are around. Dust and circlet go to Cooper. Cash empty handed. On the left hand side, it is just creeping. That was super close, man. But Cooper in a better position now, can trade better with the plus two, has the reveal, and he's going for the burrow. That is, of course, a little too late. He has the grunt in, so maybe that's a chance for Cash. Wait, there must be repair. Chance for Cash to keep him stuck here. Tier two on the way. Seems confident about this. And Harass going on as well. Ah, Militia, not enough. <laughs> Forces are under attack. 
So Hawk is dominating the human mirror in the north. Can't get the tower up, but Caspian gets the level 2 a little easier with claws. Okay, that's the reason why. Alrighty then. Tier 2 on the way on both sides. Caspian though a lot slower. A player's force Cooper and Cash back. around the same time. So I guess since it's Turtle Rock, less expansions here, more one-on-one, -on -one, less combined attacks as well. But, oh boy, that's just a kill for Cash. He just killed an entire grunt. On the other side, Cash is dealing with this a lot better. Both humans are going for the consumable, though, on the way to Tier 2. So he's gonna get the better ones. Scroll of the Beast can be insane. Greater mana, good as well. But there we go. Will we get a combined attack with the Scroll of the Beast? For the 25% damage boost on two armies. Casper. Or Cooper almost losing the blade there. His early game definitely not nearly as great. A player's forces are as it was on the first map. Thank you, Venom, for the sub. Level 3, lots of mana, good damage as well. Caspin level 3, 2, and no reinforced defenses. Only one Watt Lamental though. Plus the Blade Master is here as well. With the Scroll of the Beast. Okay, TP home by Cash, I guess. Loses the Burrow. No Shadow Hunter. He was a little slow. He could have gotten the Shadow Hunter in production. Oh my god, with the Scroll of the Beast, he might lose every single burrow. Big mana, not popped yet. And I think uh, the water elements are on cooldown as well. Second burrow down, third burrow down. It's just way too much damage. Cash is crippled forever. How long can they stay here? How long can they prevent new burrows? Oh boy, another grunt falls for Cash. He played this so nicely with the kill early on, but that is devastating. Koopa and trouble is revealed. There's no TP. Is level one only? Archmage gets the kill all right, but man, damage is done. Look at the base of cash. 23 supply only. Hawk has to carry this hard now. MK coming. Good supply lead. MK on both sides, actually. Koopa with uh, Totem and Raider Walker on the way. Shadow Hunter uh, is out already, so he can start gathering experience. Yo, OC, 4 month 3 sub. Thank you, mate. Hope you get home safe. So, what can MTW do now? They need to rely on a good Blade Master. Nice of them to get this. Is there a hex ready? Uh, apparently not also no reveal as it seems so focus fire wasn't the greatest idea and that's why other, why they are not doing it cash getting more kills though and another one five supply just got so much more experience crazy how they just lost basically cash's entire base and now pushing so good. Okay. Cascade striking back with a double kill. Only now Raider Walker. Only now the Shadow Hunter. Cooper has a lot of advances. Invo Potion Heal Scroll. No tier 3. Just double Sanctum. Same goes for Hawk. Finally, some shop creeps. Reveal again. Double dust now. As the consumables are gone. But MTW get the left hand side of the map, so they can always go there to not be detected. Two 
ring again on this MK. Hawk really likes to protect his second hero. Blade coming in for the steal and gets it. Hex a little too late. Didn't pick up the item, right? No, it was the greater healing. But prevents the progress of the Shadow Hunter. It's only level two. And Cash is catching up. He's actually got an experience lead. What the fuck, man? <laughs> How? This takes forever. Cash. This is super risky. As this turtle decides sometimes to attack just the lowest unit. Or the lowest HP unit, which uh, seems to be the Shadow Hunter anyway. <sighs> Claws. Also nice. Okay, Cash is back in the game. Cascade couldn't really capitalize from this great attack into Cash's base. They were just too distracted and lost too much in the process. And now we have another battle. Heal scroll still up. Doesn't have the gold at the moment. Oh, red spot for Cascade. This could be big potentially. Reveal being used. Let's go of the Lord. Do they want to fight into this choke? Cash is not here yet. Decent chance, maybe. Invo push on Hawks Mountain King gets out immediately. Stonewall thrown, he whips there as well. Plus 88. Now the backup is ready. Now the supporters are here. Now this spell is there. Mountain King, who's gonna die first? And Caspin, both of his so close. Both will die most likely. Can he save him somehow? Can he save him somehow? Super sick how he did that. Hawk is losing the Mountain King. Caspin still has him in there, but can't do anything with that anymore. Speed scroll on MTW side. Can they go for some kind of hero focus reveal used again? Cooper still at 50. Cash is dropping down to kind of to 40. Another Raider dead. Mountain King uh, could be... Blah, blah, blah. Blade Master could be focused, but no. Healing was there. And now Cash is struggling really hard. There's basically nothing for him anymore. Dropping to 34. All the cards in the hands of Cascade. Level up for Hawk. Okay, they try to retreat. But with how many losses? Hawk had Militia here. They will all die. And the Mountain King will get level 3. Sick fight by Cascade. Will they overextend? As they did a little on the first map. But is that even possible? Shadow Hunter advantage with good mana. And a big potion. Maybe the heal waves will do the job, but I doubt it. Blade Master of Cash is starting to go down. Double crit here in the potion. Trying to get the kill. Heal scroll. Gets the advantage. Blade Master still invulnerable. Here comes the Stormbolt and boom! Blade Master for Cash is down as well. Can he get the revenge kill? Doesn't seem like it. Heal wave is ready. Heal wave seems to always be ready for Koopa. Stormbolt though. Follow up. Blade Master has nothing to save him, but he just walks it off. And Cascade has the surround of the Archmage. No TP. He's still blocked. Can't get out. It's just a matter of time before the third hero falls as well. Oh, heal wave actually. Nice. Spirit Link. Can he reach? No, but it's just so... The big blue mass at this point. Storming forward. Mountain King of Hawk is back. But for how long? Waiting for the Storm Vault. That was it. Will they push forward even though the Blade Master is so hurt? But I guess it's just so much that you can do it. 55 for Caspin. 50 for Koopa. A combined 65 for MTW. Jesus, what a fight by Cascade. They're 2 and 2 experience shows here on this map and that's so important to prevent the three points for mtw gg it's not gonna be a 2-0 no no that was a strong 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 comeback from the russian base clan i didn't expect it to go that well in that fight but 
It did. It did, and we get a third map for the two on two, which is great. Thank you, Steve Zazu Seven, for the prime sub, and hello, Remo. Hello, hello, hello. Oh boy, your voice. How are sound... you doing? <laughs> your boy, your voice sounds like <laughs> you had a rough night. Uh, a little bit, yeah. Not, not that rough, honestly, but. Yeah, I mean, I'm here. Sorry I'm late, guys. Uh, I kind of forgot we started this early today. Oh, well, um, that happens. Yeah. But of course, I'm here now. I'm ready. MTW versus Cascade. Good. Awesome, awesome. And later, the Firestalkers as well. Hell yeah. <laughs> Will you be playing, Remo? Well, possibly. I mean, oh. maybe. <laughs> Actually, I already uh, revealed it two days ago, so yeah, I'm gonna be playing. Oh, shit. Hype, hype, hype. It's always good when I uh, can cast your games. It's always yeah, fun. Yeah, make fun of me, right? Yeah. Nice, nice death pack, Remo. <laughs> death pack. <laughs> uh, yeah, it is. And uh, Mr. Jenny Prenzel back in chat now as well, who was housing me uh, super, su super nicely on Friday in Berlin. Congrats. Uh, happy belated birthday once again, my man. I hope you had a good day. How much Smash did you play? Uh, like an hour and a half, and I got pummeled for an hour and a half. Yeah, dude, playing against good Smash players is, whew, it's humbling. <laughs> There's a lot of skill that goes into that game. Uh, you are lagging again a little. Thank you, Granny Joe, mm -hmm. for the 13 month resub. We haven't done a like a good old proper, you know, two man cast online You're in a while. Pretty, pretty delayed. Like there's a one second delay between video and audio for me, which is weird. Should I restart up uh thingy? Yeah. Discord. Let me, let me. Yeah, it's fine. Uh, stream on the game, yes he is. Red, blue, all good. Messages. <laughs> and the game starts. We go in game and hopefully Remo's uh, Discord will be a little better then. So how about the colors? It's 1-1 one, one in the 2-2 two and two between Cascade and MTW. 3-2 overall, as Lucifer has won his series against Abrams. So, Cascade in the blue, MTW in the red. Oh, on this environment, it's kind of hard to see red, but should be fine. So, Caspan, the human in the upper left with uh, no farm just yet, but there we go. On the other side, Koopa as the blue orc will face Hawk on the right hand side or on the bottom side of things as Cash is spawning at the top. So, Hello. Hello. This looks better. That's good. Yep. It's a lot better. Nice. So. So. So, so, so. The MTW is match. the big favorites here, right? But uh, Caspin are putting on a good fight. Hell yeah. They, uh, like, on map number one, Koopa was so freaking good. They still lost it, though, but the mid game of Cooper was exceptional. And on map two was Caspin shining. So if they can combine this now to force a Megazord for Cascade, then they have good odds in this game three. A Megazord? Yeah, like, if you combine your powers at Power Rangers, you combine, you, you, you get the Megazord, you know? I never. I'm, I'm too too young for Power Rangers, Neil. Wow. <laughs> wow. By the you, way, you I, uh, sound like 60 years old. <laughs> I'm coughing, dude. <clears throat> um, you recommended me to watch. Uh, what's what was it called? Attack on Titan, right? Yeah. I watched the first episode a little, and who man, I don't know. <laughs> okay. It's, it's like typical anime teenager stuff. Oh my god, I'm so angry! Why is nobody listening to me? You're not taking your job seriously enough! 
you know, everything. It's so dramatic. Yeah, and so it is. Early expansion play again. This is kind of uh, the early game on map number one where the humans were trying to expand and the orcs were trying to punish this. And once again, the question, who does it better? Cash is almost there. Cooper will still take some time. Oh, crystal ball being used basically uh, for a reveal against the blade master. It's not revealed though. There will be a big last hit. Would force AM to remain level one and he gets it. Oh, that was close though. If that was a low damage roll, I think he would not have gotten it. But gets it. Well done for him. It's nice to be back on Hellfire Plateau, by the way. <laughs> you remember the games we had here, dude? Holy crap. Fuck yeah. Ugly's 2 and 2 challenge. Glorious. On the upper side, looks like Cash was doing a way better job. What, what happened here? He just uh, made Caspian retreat, who's going into attack now. And Hawk stays on tier 1, still trying to expand. So this is not a mirror match anymore. Alright. Can of course still be followed up with a counter expansion later on. How much damage here? Oh, wait a minute. Oh, this yeah. is too much damage. This yeah. must be a cancel. Yeah. Watt Elemental, there's another one coming. Hawk, is he canceling it or not? Yes, he is. But there was a lot of power build, etc. going in this. Oh, he has absolutely no lumber to set up again. Yeah. That's a good thing in 2v2. Your ally can give you resources. But more kills for Cascade. Attacking this Archmage close to level 2, but... Is there some kind of healing? No, not yet. Cash has to come in as a support. Only level 1 on that Blade Master here for Cash. Gets the first bit of experience from some footies. Oh, the ground would be a big kill. Nice around there by Hawk. Takes that one out, so actually Cascade Ooh. suffering quite a few losses. Oh, the AM! With the backstab, yeah, and the Cascade, or Caspin oh, has to uh, be fast here as well. So is Cooper being chased by this Blade Master Invisible. No wind walk ready. Is the backstab enough? I highly doubt a block comes in though for a little oh. Cooper stops to move. Can you save him into the creeps? No, uses the TP before. On level one, doesn't want to feed the experience. And finally, Hawk is able to set up this expansion. But that's a big tech advantage for Caspin. Mm. And then it's here two timing with yep. some walkers, with some priests. Yep. Could be very scary. Hawk needs to get some forces here together. Would love to have a merc camp. But we, don't, we do have a merc camp on this map, actually, but it's kind of weirdly placed in the middle. Hard to get to. I don't even know what mercs we have in there. Me neither, man. No idea. Chat, does someone know? Don't don't they have like this, this ghost thing? Might be. I mean, I don't know, man. This is way too long since I saw this map. So here we have the counter expansion. They're not going in with a fast tier two push, but rather keep it safe and go for the long run. With a strong Mountain King, most likely. They tried a Blood Mage on map 1, but this guy, this poor, poor guy, spent more time on the altar than on the battlefield. Mountain Kings, with Clap, especially in 2v2, can be very effective. Actually, Caspin, though, is delaying his second hero in favor of the expansion, in favor of the Sanctum as well. And still not making the MK. Harass again. Cash losing the bestiary, so Raiders a little later, but how much damage can Cash do against the expansion? It's up now, so all he will lose is a couple of passants. And again, it's going for the burrows. Like, this timing of Cascade against the early tier 2 of Orcs is outstanding. Oh, triple water elemental. Someone's been watching Romantic's games. <laughs> Romantic was super strong, did you see? Not you yet, Shall we come again? Crazy, crazy. So, both sides here taking pretty severe economic damage. But Cash, if these boroughs start falling, this is going to be absolute disaster. Mass repair! 8 peon repair! That's very expensive. <laughs> he has to hold it somehow. He has another Waffle Mental in a bit, but one of them should be expiring. Yep, there we go. Can you just get the, uh, the Shadow Hunter for it? He's trying to surround and oh, he nice does! Thing. Plus the Blade Master damage. This potion only bought some time. Yeah. 
and he used a mana pot before. This was all very, very expensive for cash. Yeah, Shadowhunter dies. Obviously, TP now to prevent cash from killing this town hall, which cost a lot but didn't pay off a dime yet. Full so focus on the, blade. on the blade. There should be a hex ready. There oh, it is. Oh, no windwalk as well. Can you get the TP? No! Hex duration is too long, damage too high. Looks amazing for Cascade so far. Oh, they get the two grunts as well. Really nice teamwork there with the Shadow and the MK Disable. This hex no time for that TP. was absolutely perfect. Hawk is trying to uh, dis dis distract now and force a TP, but I doubt that's going to happen. I mean, he has some two point... elementals, so that's pretty strong. There's a walker here, but no adept training. Another water elemental. He's splitting the damage, though. And he's getting at least one. That should be it, I guess. Cooper's still not responding. Shadowhunter at least comes in. Oh, but there's two burrows falling, man. That's so painful. Yep. And of course, someone has to deal with Hawk here. So Cash must know, okay, that could again there's expose no... the expansion in the north. And there's no thing. gold for repair anymore. He can't hold this. Ouch. Three he burrows. Fed yep. Doing it. Okay, forcing the town portal now. No hex, but every single burrow is killed. What a response by MTW, man. This, these two and twos go back and forth, back and forth all the time. Okay, Aspen is still defensively positioned in the north though. Won't be losing any more peasants there. But it's gonna have to give a lot of money now to Cooper. Yeah. To get his infrastructure back up. He should be able to afford it, but supply-wise they are at a combined 70. Cash at 40 alone. Forgot the burrow though. Hawk at 46, now with the Sanctums only. What? Wow, what's this? Ex everything, his tech was so late. Crazy. But he got a lot of mileage out of these footies once again, heading towards Cooper's main. Six footmen still left. Oh, if you can cancel these burrows again. This is a nightmare for Cooper. It looks really, really, really good with so much mana. But okay, Cash has to TP out to not lose the Shadow Hunter. Not enough damage to kill this grunt, but he's home now, can defend, no reinforced defenses on either side. Hawk Expo is paying off, he gets upgrades as well, and of course the second burrow is falling too. Sooner or later, Hawk has to TP into the north to save his ally here, but he wants to get as much damage done as possible. Getting rid of one more burrow, going for the last burrow again, perhaps that's too greedy. Now he's coming in with the TP. Oh. Cooper wanted to surround the Shadow Hunter, didn't really pop. Now he's in the middle of the two MTW heroes, who's doing more damage. The Mountain King certainly helps with it. Stormbolt backstab, Cash as hero falls. Cooper is still alive, Hex, but there's Heal Wave. Speed scroll, this little frog, can he get out? No! Is surrounded, Hex lasts long enough. Double Blade Master Kill. And the triple water elementals here again for Hog. Okay, some expire, some get disenchanted. So actually not too many left now. Level 2 for the Shadowhunter for Cash. Now has the Heal Wave as well. Mountain King coming in from the side. Heal Wave coming in to save Caspin's MK. But he may also be surrounded. It's so close and he is dead. Only two heroes left now for Cascade. Archmage got level 3. But man, he's a level behind. More and more units are falling. This is not looking good at all. The Shadowhunter gets surrounded as well. Man, this MK of Hog. Bring in the hammers and maybe the victory. Double kill for him. Cooper down to 22. Caspin down to 37. All of MTW stable around 40. Hawk even at 54. And that's the fourth hero that will fall here. Oh no, TP out. But at this point, is it even worth it? Not too sure. So many kills. Does Cooper have anything left? It He's feels like everything is in production, but that's it. And now MTW seems to be in a natural position now to just push the expansion of Caspant. Could that be the GG for them already? Or can Cascade here somehow fight their way back? Really, there was really a pretty hard. epic tug of war between the two teams here thus far. But this feels like desperation.
This base yes, attack against... Give him enough time, though. Perhaps Cascade can recover. And Hawk and Cash really are not forcing the issue at all right now. Just creeping on the right-hand side of the map. Getting the level 3 Mountain King, I guess. The upgrades are a lot better for Hawk than they are for his opponent. 1-1 one, one already. No Blacksmith even for Caspin. Lionheart of Stormwind, though, for Koopa. Major item in 2-2 two two these days. Oh, yeah. Absolutely. Two armor is really nice. I recently heard someone saying, I think Lionel is a little too weak. I think we should give it also spell resistance. <laughs> wow. What do you think about that idea, Neil? Yeah, it's a very good idea. Who said that? <laughs> Was it just... Someone very smart in Twitch chat. Ah, okay. Just a random chat. I, see. I thought some someone I know, maybe. No. Oh man, the Eridar camp. We have seen yep. this one turning out to be really tough, actually. There's a lot of footies <laughs> dying over here. <laughs> They're all dead. All footies are gone. Finger of death, the priest is like, hell no. Yep. I'm out of here. Yep. <laughs> <laughs> if these yeah. units fall, there are going to be some summons for the creeps as well. And all you get is a medallion of courage. Here we see them. Man, Cash, that's the way to get your opponent back into the game. But yeah, that like, could have been worse. Hog and Cash both lost like 20 supply to this camp. <laughs> to these two camps. Dude, if they lose the game because of this rat spot. <laughs> Pretty funny, actually. <laughs> Do never underestimate the Eridar. So it's, all of a sudden it's 60 supply for Cash, but how did that work? Well, human game expansion, I guess. TP home from Caspin to defend his expansion. Cash's army way too hurt and way too small to stay in here. At least forcing the town portal, I guess, while his expansion is coming up. And an expansion for Hawk. So they are making sure to use that advantage from the last fight are under to get more gold. What does Cooper have right now? Around 50? Okay, everything though pretty hurt. Shadowhunter, no mana. Doesn't look like the orc for Cascade here is really in fighting shape. Late Master, very survivable with his inventory for Cooper. But no damage at all. How about the Archmage? Did he find something cool? Not really. Oh, one of the wind can prevent the TP maybe. But okay. We have five gold mines running for MTW. Three for Cascade. Hawk is going to the next Eridar camp. Uh oh. <laughs> Flanking sandwich though. in the north. Cascade yep. collapsing on Cash. He has to fall back. And he does in time. That could have been nasty right there. Gonna lose that one raider, certainly. MK moving forward with the boots here. Wants to find more pick off kills. At six supply, gone for free. What did Hawk find in the meantime? He. Uh, Hood of Cunning. And he had the cloak from earlier. Cloak could be really good, actually. Spellbreaker sees the expansion, but they have no clue about the bottom right. Opening up another one in the bottom left, maybe? At least opening up the possibility. Are under attack. L5 AM for Hawk. That was pretty fast. He's gonna get level 4 MK here as well, which is a really big level. So he has level 2 in the clamp and the Stormbolt. Yeah, a little weak on the armor side. We've seen uh, plus 12 already. So, compared to that, a squishy Mountain King this time. Plus 12 armor Mountain King? Yep. How is that? How did that happen? Inner fire? Two rings of protection plus four and something else. That's a tanky boy. Yep. MK now from Hawk moving in for the defense of his own expansion. First expansion. And now the second one revealed as well. So Cascade know that they're under time pressure right now. Yeah, Can't afford to drag this game out anymore. There's not much damage against the buildings here. And you don't want to fight Hawk here. No chance. With a great position, maybe he can kill a little bit more. But Archmage is already down to 50%. Gotta be careful about that. Stormbolt. Do this to TP before. Collapse the castles a little. In the meantime, there is Koopa with an attack against Cash's expansion. Is he able to defend this? Is he willing to defend this? Ha! 
Okay, oh, there is a TP. Last item I checked, and he's TPing home. Raiders couldn't do too much damage here. Is he willing to take this fight? Oh, equal supply, actually. 1v1 Orc Mirror. Uh, Cooper unwilling to take this fight just yet. Now actually engaging, coming in. Hawk could TP at a moment's notice, though. Could do it right now. Yep. And then Cooper would have to leave. He does have a TP here himself. Gets off a Devour on the Kodo. Second Kodo is still free, so decent fight beginning, I guess, for Cooper. Oh, big disenchant, though, by Cash right there. Gets his own Devour off. Speed heal wave as well. But it feels like Cash is losing more compared to Cooper. But now he kills the Kodos, and now he's freeing these units again. Really surprised Hawk is coming. Okay, now he is. They're only the Tele Staff from the AM. And instantly forcing a TP out. So saves the TP. A couple of Peon kills here, but still five gold mines. Ooh, Caspin tech to tier three. He's got Griffins now. Ooh, and Hawk the Orb. as well, though. Oh, okay. Going so, Knights. Yep. Double Racks Knights and Gyros. Well, if he knew about the Griffins. <laughs> That might not be his uh, unit choice, but we see the bad riders already on Cash's side. So he'll provide the anti-air with raiders as well. Are under yeah, how are they going to try to protect these griffins, I wonder? Maybe with bad riders against bad riders? Yeah, I, I thought so too. <laughs> Fight fire with fire. So we have a paladin. We have two knights already. 80 supply for hawk. Lots of upgrades coming. Flag cannons as well. Animal War Train 2. Oh, Eridar Camp. Let's see how many units we use. Uh, we lose now. Mana Shield. Whoop. Legion Doomhorn. Sweet item for Caspin. A player's forces are under attack. Late Master attacks again. But MTW supporting it with Raiders. Can take out this Town Hall. Does he have enough damage? Three Raiders. Four, five Grunts, actually. That's a lot of damage right there. This Almost no repair. Kill. Get some Griffin damage against the backline, but this expansion is toast! Nice strike by Cash! And now it's two base versus five. Oh man. Didn't even lose a unit. <laughs> Devoured a spellbreaker. Damn. MTW looking in a hot position right now. Hawk is at a thousand gold, just needs a little lumber. Cash is going up at 80 as well. <clears throat> Cash getting an incredibly good fight right now. Yeah. They need to own this next engagement. But how? 70 supply for Cooper as well. Item wise, there's nothing really of significance. Uh oh, this blade is revealed and is. Dead with the Hex! That's not the good opening you need. The Ark is gone immediately. Trying to get the counter kill on the Paladin. Works nicely. Blade is back. Has also a health stone. So can get back up to 100%. Ooh, the Bad Riders are coming in, but it doesn't do too much. Hello, Blizzard! That level 3 Blizzard here from the AM. Oh yep. my god, the yep. damage! Yeah, it's super sick. Heal scroll, but only a limited amount. Late Master trying to reposition against the Mountain King. That should get rid of the clap. Holy Light is ready. But man, he can't stop the Blizzard. Yeah, There's just is... nothing to do. <laughs> That's a oh, million boy. damage right there. And the Mountain okay. King will slowly but steady die as well. I'd love to have a damage meter here. Yeah. It must be so high for this AM. Yeah. Perfect transition. Perfect time for the transition. And the Bats connect again, doing tons of damage to the Griffins. Speaking of damage, more ice is raining from the skies. Cascade and is just collapsing. Yep. Zip, down he goes. And everything is crimson red there. GG! MTW takes the second series as well. Struggling a little. Cascade made it close, but in the end, the German team of uh, Cash and Hawk is prevailing. Taking it home and 4 to 2 for MTW now. Half the work is done. Yeah, I was like, is, is that true? Yes, you need uh, eight points exactly. Yes. Neo, you're a math wizard. <laughs> they call me, they call me Einstein. Yeah, earlier Lucifer with his win. Now the two v two. Yeah.
But Cascade is always there. It's not super one-sided. I mean, the first map really, really was between Lucifer and Abrams. But maybe Cascade can turn it around. On paper, the weakest MTW player is coming in. It's Jack versus one of the strongest from Cascade. That is Cooper. Night Elf versus Orr. Cooper with a good performance here in the 2-on-2. Two -two. Maybe not with the biggest momentum after the loss. But on paper, he should be able to take this. Or can check surprise us all and take the 6th or 7th point. We will see about that after a little break when W3IL quarterfinals continue. MTW4, Cascade 2, see you in a bit. Next game is Czech versus Cooper, Night Elf versus Orc, Neo and Remo reunited for the series here. Echo Isles is the starting map. And we seem to have a little bit of time um, before this starts. So if you want to kill some time, you can help us out. We have a new survey up. Um, how did you like WGL Summer? We need your feedback to improve WGL for the Winter Edition. It is up in chat now with a Google Form. Should take you like five to ten minutes to complete that. We are very, very grateful to every single response of you guys. Should be a pretty good one, uh, response-wise, I imagine. Dude, WGL was amazing. Wasn't it, guys? Wasn't it amazing? It was so much fun. Actually, for the first time, I see Cooper's pick on Liquipedia. It's just he's sitting in the car with like a f driving with his foot. <laughs> okay. okay, I gotta it's, check that out now. Yeah, it, it's on stream as well. It's pretty crazy. Check, of course, the old uncle, 35 years old, the oldest player in the scene. Such a longevity, man. Been around since 2002 and still playing. Now, he has a pretty tough task to his hands. It's not match points yet, but if he takes this 2 and 0, oh, that would be a lot of match points for MTW. We have a few supporters here. Thank you, Sir Camru, for the 8-month resub and Storm1 for 7-month. We are very grateful. Cooper in the red for Cascade in the upper left. Check in the blue for MTW as the Night Elf. Cooper always felt like back in W3 Arena days, you know, was always a very promising player, especially in the early game. I felt he was very crisp. Late game, sometimes he seemed to have a tendency of falling off, but he was inactive for a while. He hasn't been practicing as much. I think he is still far away from his shape that he was in previously in W3 Arena days. And check on the other side, kind of of similar he's back in the scene of course we have seen him playing some wgl qualifiers and stuff but he didn't actually qualify for the main event of wgl so hard to tell in what shape he is recently was one of the most uh, stubborn player at not adapting to the keeper meta right away but is playing the keeper here against the orc fish race of cooper we never really ever see talent anymore do we that is uh, correct I am not too sad about that. It seems like despite the mana burn buff, they still stick to the keeper in this matchup. And with that, basically no talent. Starting off with the Ring of Protection, of course, the talent's got a little um, more expensive, so you don't have too many resources for the scrolls, which you pretty much need, and invuls. So there are quite some reasons to not go for that. But with this keeper play, you always need an expansion. How likely is that on Echo? Definitely going to try for it, probably in the south, next to the Merc camp. Um, we've been seeing quite a bit of Huntress plus uh, tech plays before the expansion nowadays. Still not sure that I like that too much. And Czech actually has Entangle first. Yeah. Don't see that too much either. Can't rely on Treants for quite a while. This would be a big grunt kill, though. Should be a priority for Cooper to try to deny it because then the level 2 would be prevented. And the Blade Master, of course, shot. high damage rolls. Oh, man. That was a little sloppy. Also, of course, uh, ping is an issue here. Yeah, it is a US host to have fair condition. There's one more entangle, so the Blade Master can't just right click him here. And with that one entangle extra that he has. Could be a peon kill right away, but he's not going for that. 200 gold oh, grunt down. Cooper using his Blade Master trying to get the Ogre Mage Eye. With only one circlet though, he's going to take a lot of damage. 
kind of surprised he's not scouting for the expansion. Like, as you said, there must be an expansion at one point with the Keeper. Just doesn't... Uh, it's not strong enough of a hero to be able to play one base versus one base in the late game. Hmm. Okay, he has... healing for the blade, and now he's scouting for the expansion, but yeah, it's still not coming. Can he steal the Magi? I'm not too sure if the heal self is enough. Huntress Hall tier 2, so okay. Huntress transition into tier 2 expo most likely. A player's forces are under attack. Yep. And now pretty much all spots have been scouted for. No expansion here and Cooper must be f feeling pretty surprised. Like, where is that thing? There needs to be a Tree of Life. Either that or AP push. So I like the other grunt in the main base. Checking out the corners, making sure there's no sneaky APs coming up. All right, Tome of Intelligence for this blade gets level two. Both are focusing quite hard on uh, stealing experience away from the other side. There's another Entangle, though. This Grunt, we'd love to see Boots here. Can he get in range? Does he have Ultra Vision already? I'm not too sure. Whoa! Raised his arm already, just barely out of range for that Tangle. Here we go. And that should again be the kill. It's not that much damage on the Grunt, but it seems to be enough. Even if the Entangle wears off, Grunt can be chased down. Late Master this time wants to get the Divinai at least. Can't get it though, actually. Alright. Is he getting boots now? Oh, nope, Staff on the Keeper. And gets away with it. So there's no solution against the Entangle on the Blade so far. If he's not going Mirror Image, it would be crazy. And Cooper, by the way, is not going for the new school build with the Shaman, but rather will be going Walkers and Raiders again as the Totem's coming up for check. Still no expansion. Does he seriously want to play Keeper Hunts on one base? That's... yeah. There's a Wisp now at the Expo, but he has no gold for that as he went for the Alchemist first. Oh, interesting. Shadow Hunter with wards. Oh, Alchemist, of course, with acid bomb. It's not daytime yet. Upon daytime, positioning becomes very important. You want that heal scroll. Both players want it. It's going to be an important item here for each. Late Master finding the Ring of Region. His item drops haven't been the greatest, really. One of Masking can be good later on for the Shadow Hunter. But no greater mana, no pendant here, no claws. Cooper so far not too lucky. But the creep dagger is coming in. Cooper needs to buy a Shadow Priest right now. Does so. Nice. He has a speed and scroll trying to get out, but check is blocking the way out. Certain wards are nice, but only level one. I wonder when the auto transition is coming. We've seen this more and more. Another grunt falling, oh. and check saves all the hunters. He misclicked the abolish. He used abolish on the. Alchemist, which didn't do anything. Mm. Now comes the Abolish, the second one, but it's not good enough to save the Berserker. And the Grunt and is not moving And another any... Grunt possibly as well. Ouch, ouch, ouch. Alchemist in trouble though against the Blade. There's a lot of mana for Wind Walk. No Hex, of course, to get away. Speed scroll now, and he should get on top of this Alchemist. No, swaps the TP and gets out with even without the Alchemist loss. Ouch, man. That was brutal. Yeah, it seemed like Cooper should be in a good position there to defend. The creep camp was already taken. He had Ser Serpent Wards set up already. He got the double mercs. And then he still lost, like, everything. The dispels there definitely were a big mistake. The first one on the wrong target. The second one too late. And with that now, Cooper in a very tough spot. Expansion may be very late here for check, but with this early game, it might just be in time. Right, still a lot of hunters though. Five of them. They are falling off. Now we see still no second engine of war, right? Even that is missing. Archer transition now, okay. Cooper went. Oh, can you get the heal scroll? This is really big. He can't sell some of his items if he has to. Doesn't get the heal scroll. Wow. That's a massive mistake. But yeah, check got it now. Staff out. Can't rely on too many crits, only a little bit of backstab. Whew. Yeah, he absolutely needed to sell his Ring of Region there. And buy the Heat Scroll. 
that's a mistake that can just by itself lose you the game. We have a lot of wisps here. Second engine of ward, the expansion as well. Heal spray, healing basically the entire army back up. There's a lot of cooldown now on that spell, but still pretty good. And Players only Raider Walker attack. coming. Shadowhunter close to three though. Should be able to get this required experience at the marketplace. And then with a level 2 Serpent Wards, plus Spirit Link, plus Disenchant. Could still be able to take a good fight, because check, still not mining at the expansion, still not even at 40 supply. Okay, is there a timing? He needs level 3, for sure, as you said. Is he getting it here? Mm, yep, for sure. Late Mass is getting the shop. No stab, only a potion for check. Players forces are under yep, nice distraction there as well. Forcing check to stay on his side of the map and for the shadow to be able to creep up more. He is now level three. Over at the marketplace, we have claws in there. We have a big mana in there as well, but that's of course very expensive. Doesn't buy anything. Level three alchemist. And 60% to go on the entangled. Cooper needs a big push soon before this expansion pays off. He gets the second heal scroll at least, so that's good for him. Could have had both, but at least now he has one. <laughs> There's an invul as well on the blade, and he's pushing. Army is oh, it's an okay shape, even a protector on check side. Good levels. How good is the engagement? Arch is a little bit out of position. Counters immediately with an entangle, though. There's plenty of mana for check to use. What's level two? Instantly I taken think, out. I think check has a really good army comp. Five hunts, five archers. Yeah. Seems well rounded. But of course, now sitting between the rallies, picking off reinforcements is rather easy. Oh. Saves this with two and denies it. Blade Master DPS is good. But the crits, not too much, so he is predictable in his damage. But Cooper finds an angle to attack. Does he have pillage? Nope, but takes this one out. And this keeps check at 51 supply. That's big, actually. Not too many Serpent Wards here just yet. Okay, now here we go. Getting spammed at this point now. Heal Spray coming in from the Alk. Might be level 2. But still, oh, the Blade Master now getting focused next, but he has the invul. Last second using that one. The Shadowhunter still with some mana, but of course only level one heal wave here for him with the level two Serpent Wards instead. Heal scroll still available. Cooper needs to use it soon. This Orc army is completely falling apart. Dispel, okay. Actually saves everything again. Holy. It, he basically had the same move in the two on two already. One grunt will be falling okay. at the very least here, but that's okay so far. It's not too bad. But check is moving forward. No mana, however, on these heroes. This could be a serious overextension for him. In the south, there is a great hall coming up. No wisp there to scout. Slight mistake. Should certainly have one of those down there to be looking exactly for this. As check, I think he just bought the wand of illusion, right? Yeah, exactly. For scouting. That's pretty cool. Second attack upgrade is coming up as well. Blade Master is making his way down for the next scroll of healing. Oh, Keeper so a little so late. Important. Or is he focusing on the invul again? Nope, heal scroll this okay. time. That's a big deal. That means it's going to be much tougher for Czech to take the next fight. Still at only 50 out of 50. Moonwells will be finishing, but only then can he start producing. Orc expansion, though, still taking a while, as it always does take quite a long time to finish. But peons are moving south. Cooper is going to be mining here in about a minute, and check still on an upkeep. Well, he said 51, but that's not what you want. Producing more without going into lores. Hmm. A player's forces are under attack. But not taking to tier 3, so it's only dryads. The upgrades also for him are really not looking that good. He's super low lumber. Ah, the second attack upgrade actually finishes now. Okay, that's better. But you want 2-1, possibly 2-2, two, two, actually, on all these hunts and archers. But then yeah. again... But, but Cooper is 0-0 zero, zero as well, so... Usually you want armor upgrades on the grunts. 
Yep. Which it doesn't have either. Gargantuan. The next big drop here for Cooper getting the shed under very close to level four. I should have solo crept this camp. Does it now at least with the last one, and that's basically level four for him. Crystal ball. Where does he scan? I say the night of natural. What do you say, Neo? What do you say? Uh, yeah, should be normal <laughs> to see what's coming there, or maybe even for the turtle to see if he can creep jack there, but. Not using it for now. Oh, Is he really going to sell it without using? Come on, bro. Use the item. A player's forces are under attack. Check is going... <laughs> Bears without tier 3 tech. Ah, for Roar. Okay. Yeah, Roar and Riju. Dude, he got up to 74 quick, though. Yep. Holy Jesus. That was very fast. Uh, Cooper's moving over, a little harass in the base with Treants, but just distraction for now. Levels here, three and four with a tanky alchemist now. With eight armor. Cooper has less supply, but he's got the double heal scroll against zero from check. He's got a scroll of protection, check does, but against AoE dispel from the walkers, that might not even be doing much. Check his supply stack now. Can't go to 80. Here's the big army though. AoE would be great right now, but he doesn't have that. Acid Bomb on the Blade, who has no invul this time. Level 4 on the Shadow for the level 2 heal wave. First one comes out immediately. How long can these grunts stay in the fight and block the damage? Engine of War coming from the back line. The entire range army is focusing on it. Dispel's coming in. These walkers will suffer. And the Shadow Hunter as well. But the Wisp's not detonating. Can't find the connection, oh. but the Blade! Poison Ivy and the Shadow Hunter was too far away. Forgot to keep the spell in range. You always have to do that. When you're running away from a keeper, you always have to have the spell for the stragglers so they don't get entangled killed. And especially if that's the blade, that's a massive loss. He buys him back from the tavern. It's very expensive. But he gets shop control again. Can go for the next heal scroll here. He feels he has the money. He does not right now. He has one on the Shadow Hunter still. Expo is running. He lost quite a bit, but. These Moonwell kills are really, really nice to not let him get critical mass. But soon we're gonna have bears and there's not a single Kodo yet. Army is split as well. Is he just aiming for the tree? Looks like it. But TP again. Is he? No. Just a stab. Shadowhunter is TPing out, but some of the army may be too far away for the TP. Oh my god. Gets only one of them though. Okay. Or is Good he? <laughs> Needs another entangle. Or oh, is the acid bomb ticking down? Yeah. That didn't really work. Wommel only now. Ooh, it's a long way till Kodos. But the Blade Master seems to be going to the heal scroll again. And he's gonna get that. But check so passively, just staying on his yeah. side of the map at all times. Hasn't launched an attack in forever. Still 2-0, going 2-1 now. Waiting for the bears, I guess. Blade Master no level 4. <laughs> Treants making their way over again. Oh, that's fine. Now he sells the Ring of Regen and gets the heal scroll. Once again, twi uh, two of them. The first Master Bear is about to be ready. Waiting in the main right now. And check now is going for Bear Armor Upgrades. Ah, yes, two actually. There's one with the army. One in the main. Now they're joining. Seems like a bit of a stalemate here. Yeah, I mean, Cooper doesn't have a reason to attack, right? He can just wait. He has the later second gold mine, so if you compare this here, 10,000 for the Russian, 8,400 for the Korean, this could be a long passive game, actually. Are under I think Cooper should really start getting into those upgrades, though. He's pretty rich. 73 supply. 
Of course, won't do anything for the walkers or the mercs, but still, for the grunts and raiders, it's nice. Third attack upgrade for the hunts and archers. Oh, oh, and they have marksmanship as well. Oh boy, Ooh, that damage. Yeah, best DPS for gold you can get in the game. The bear for free though. Oh, Cooper doesn't have a TP. Okay, that's he bad. He may lose the expansion. Cooper has to go for the Tree of Eternity now to force the TP back. Yeah, without the Tree of Eternity, he can't build bears, but he's not that fast. He's just focusing on uh, the second tier buildings. And with this roar, we have so much damage. We have so, 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 so much damage and no expansion anymore. Surgical Strike by Jack, realizing his opponent doesn't have a TP. And this might be the all deciding fight. Look at this mass of Jack. And how do really you attack with all this archers. melee? Yeah, he can't reach at all. Late masters are under control basically the entire time thanks to Entangle. Now he's opening this up, but this is so much free damage soaked up by the buildings. But honestly, aside from the archers, nothing is really doing much. So Cooper is kind of chewing through this front line. Cool idea with the Shadow Melt on the Huntresses blocking the way, kind of. But Cooper still got tons of stuff over here. And Spirit Link is still good. He used one heal scroll already. Second one is still up. Invul Potion as well. Going for the Keeper. There is a lot of consumables though. And these bears, they're dead. Yeah, they didn't do anything. Well, the roar was pretty nice. Yeah. But that was kind of it. Late Master again getting focused. But with the Spirit Link, he is tanky enough to survive it this time. Or is he? Maybe he's not. Invul. No mana at the moment for a heal wave. Maybe he's waiting for level 5 as well, but he can't get kills anymore. Speed scroll out. Ooh. No expansion anymore. Check just barely held right there. Yeah. It was very close. He's, ba yeah, he's really down to, like, archers and three other units. Blade Master, of course, the best counter against archers only. Oh, when Cooper has only three peons in the mine. I'm not realizing. That's because of the tree and terrace earlier, of course. Crystal well, ball used right there. You could make Seems. an argue that he just wants to mine slower. <laughs> Are you gonna nope. pretend to be so cool now? No, <laughs> no. <laughs> <laughs> so cool logic. Yeah, but level uh, five shadow is gonna be super strong. Yeah. Against but this many archers, heal wave might actually be better though. Yeah. What does the piercing damage really do against archers? Not too much. Oh, again, like these archers, man. Plus Dude. seven. Minimum 30 damage. <laughs> Holy crap. 34 average. That's pretty good. So, last stand for Cooper, most likely. First, my god, why are these walkers so far ahead? Easily killable by all these archers. Late Master down to 50% again. Heal wave still not level 3, level 3, uh, level 5 keeper. And everything is falling for Koopa. He held on for a long time, but that is point number 5 for MTW. As Czech takes map number 1, and I feel like Cascade in this matchup needed maybe even a 2 0. As Hawk and Cash are still in the lineup. Yeah, that's a rough one. Man, Cooper was in a good position at one point in that game. Yeah. But. In the super late, archers just seem to be so strong against orc. There's, yeah. It's so hard to take them out. If you don't have level 5 blade with good inventory, you just can't kill them quickly enough. Yeah. Like, you can't really reach anymore. That's an issue for sure. Maybe orcs need to start going uh, pit lord again. Cleave? <laughs> <laughs> we have seen it. Uh, when was it? And we got the uh, double Lynn did it against uh, Shihi. This one spectacular game on Concealed. Where it was 25 supply behind, but still won. But of course, with the Blade Master returned to his former glory with the Critical Strike, we are mostly seeing him first nowadays. Pretty rare to see anything else. Does the game work for you? Um... Uh, no, it does. Game number eight. 
still no match points, of course. You need eight points to make it into the semis. But slowly but steady, Cascade needs to pull some points here. So I guess Terranus was vetoed, right? Mm, probably, yeah. Otherwise, I don't really see a reason to not go for it. I always like LR, though, if you can have a crisp opening, an early game. Can be really hard for the keeper here. We've seen that plenty of times where he doesn't even reach level 2 for quite a while. Cooper is usually an orc who likes being aggressive early on, and that should serve him well here. On the second map. All right, so we have a little bit of a break here. So again, the call to arms, if you want to support this clan league by Warcraft3.info, uh, we kind of rely on your support as this is uh, mostly crowdfunded. A little bit of Warcraft3.info's own money goes into this league, but uh, we have a Maturino up where you can support this uh, this clan league for season two and season three and beyond. Type W3IL in chat to get the link to the Maturino to get all the information about this league to keep this up. Second uh, season is already in the works. There's a few improvements coming. Um, but yeah, you can support this one uh, by a dollar or two. Every single small contribution helps. And yeah, crowdfunding is important in our little Western scene. A scene basically without sponsors and stuff. So help us out. Speaking of help us out, uh, we also need your help with some feedback regarding WGL Summer, the world championship that just ended a week ago with Happy, of course, being the winner. We want to improve it. NetEase wants to improve it. VSP and the production company wants to improve it. And therefore, we need your feedback. Exclamation mark survey leads you to a Google survey that takes five to ten minutes. And uh, we want your opinion there. Absolutely. Tell us what you thought about the tournament and get that data. Exactly. So perhaps one day also we can be sponsored by, what's it called? Böhringer Ingelheim? You know which what? one? I mean, something like that. Böhringer Ingelheim? Yeah, it's it's this uh, data gathering company that sponsors uh, Home Story Cup. Ah, okay. No, I didn't know that. So, second map, ladies and gents, about to begin. Check, looked pretty solid right there, but I think by no means without flaws, by no means perfect, Cooper absolutely still has a shot at taking at least a map, which he needs to do at the very, very least. Ideally, you want to win this one. There's still so many tough opponents ahead. Well, two tough opponents ahead. With Cash and Hawk. Hawk, who has been practicing like a madman. That guy is motivated for WCG. Let me tell you. Where did you see that? Like Nettie's letter or? Yeah. All right. He's got uh, some of the most games on there. I think. I think I saw that. Even uh, during WGL, actually. He was probably playing, uh, you know and had our stream open on the second monitor. Of course, didn't <laughs> want to miss our awesome stream. Of course not, as he's always watching us. Well, from, from time to time he does, actually. Last Refuge, Cooper needs to win this, otherwise it's seven and two for MTW. That would give them a lot of match points in a game that's like supposed to be Cascades, I guess. Check in the upper right in the blue for MTW, deciding to go for a keeper once again. And on Cooper's side, it's a Blade Master. No one expected anything else, I guess. Slightly unusual base layout here by Cooper. But normally that isn't really of too much consequence. There used to be a time when we saw a lot of those Huntress Archer attacks into the Orc main base at around 65, 70 supply. Not so much anymore, though. It's mainly about defending, holding on to your expansion. And up to the Orc to either kill the Expo or go for the counter expansions. How do you feel about that counter Expo play, Neo? I know you, <laughs> you used to not be a fan. I wasn't, but that's quite some patches ago. That was mostly <laughs> in 1.30.1. So I, uh, with 
the nerfs on Treants and Keeper and Hunts, I see an expansion working a lot more these days. So I totally understand if you go for a counter expansion. Cooper once again going for a bit of an, uh, not outdated, but older build. It's a two borrow shop tech. So it's going to be pretty late and begins with creeping, which I always think is absolutely the wrong choice on this map because the keeper, again, I know I keep on pointing it out, but it's so important. He can be forced to remain level one here, which makes all the difference. But that only works if you're aggressive right away. Blade Master now moving across the map with the ring here. Not too fortunate of a start for him, but he's going to get the circle, of course, at the merchant. But that's probably not going to be fast enough to prevent level two now for Goldbeam. You know who that is? That's the keeper. I know. I saw. I see the name. And you are right. Ooh. No last hit here. Was quite close, but there is uh, four entangles now, basically, with the mana region calculated in. And with that, should be an easy defense. But uh, the big thing, as always, preventing level three. The ensnare helps, but the entangle helps against the damage. That was nice by Cash. Will it prevent the kill, though? Close. Oh, one HP. Lols, that save. <laughs> Lots of moon juice, though. That was literally as close as it gets. There's one more entangle here, so the Blade Master has to be careful with how low he drops. Now, I think you don't want to use more mana with the moon juice being so low. If it gives you hero kill, though, would be a good usage. Second grunt. Isn't that grunt a little late? Considering it's a two borrow tech? Yep. Maybe he didn't have the gold. Unusual camp here being taken now by the blade. Does check read this? Normally, blade master will always be at the high troll, maybe at the natural. But Cooper, I like that. Cool camp to take. Hard to predict. We'll get the item here as well as his own level two. Oh, and check going for the merc camp creep. Oh boy, that's pretty risky. Yep. There's only one entangle. But the Blade Master is quite low. Inventory is good, though. The Cooper doesn't see it, doesn't smell it. Check doesn't have Hunter's Hall yet. And he doesn't have an expansion yet. He's huh. got 650 gold. Is he playing a mass range push? Oh, Ancient of War denied. Ouch. Gonna make level three harder to achieve. And Cooper is getting more experience. Trifecta completed. Oh, this blade is so strong right now. Especially if it gets level three. And this prevents level three. Like, of course, he can go for the Shadow Priest, but oh. maybe Cooper can snipe that as well. They didn't see each other, right? Yeah, that they? was so close, dude. That was just out of the line of sight. But now the Keeper should see it. He does. But he doesn't have mana. No entangle to fear right now. Ooh, this grunt uh, can walk away. This Scourge Bone Chimes doesn't do anything really for this army until he goes to bears. So is he going bears? I guess he is. Hunter's Hall about to finish here. Then he can go into the lores. Demon has the second. Time. No, Maybe. Demon has the no. second. Demon second, wow. We see this more and more. Yeah, against Undead it makes a lot of sense, yeah. but against Orc, burning the blade doesn't do much. And it's not that likely that you're going to get into range to burn the shadow. Same goes for walkers, basically. Oh, a little more, maybe. <laughs> I wonder how much this Scourge Bone Shines is influencing his decision here. <laughs> well, 20% on bear damage is pretty damn good. Yeah, On the true. Demon Hunter as well. But bears never were the best units in this matchup even before they got nerfed, so still not too convinced of them in yeah, against Orc. I will see. The aura is gonna help. The warmill is again late, which it is not. Uh, then the codos would be a little late for that, but Cooper this time faster with this tier two and a half building. One and a half, Serpent Wards may not be as good against bears as they are against Huntresses, but they're pretty good still. It's 100% damage from the piercing, of course. Level 3 blade now with one hell of an inventory. Yeah, oh my god. Lots of lots of DPS. 
but decent control with mana burn and entangle as well. So battle for an invul maybe. I just got the dust. Oh, this demon hunter is under a lot of pressure, but no hex, no disable. Disentangle prevents the kill. A lot of going for some moon juice though. Oh, but there's plenty still in the moon wells. Do you miss the gambling for Tomb of Experience? Hell no. No, right? Me too. I thought, okay, sometimes like, oh, is this a Tomb of Experience? Nah, nah, nah. It's kind of good for a cast to kill five seconds or so, but I do not miss it one bit. Nah, screw Tomes of Experience. They were very unfair, oftentimes. Chalandra now doing some solo leveling. I think this is looking pretty good for Cooper. Depending, of course, all on how well these bears are going to work out. He's not going bears, though. He's going mountain giants. The fuck? Wow. That's Haven't quite old school. Haven't seen in a while. Nope. So I guess the demon hunter is there for the damage and then archers behind it? I guess so, yeah. But the thing is, if you go MGs plus archers, you're only going to have a couple of archers. It's not going to be mass, mass archers. Or not the necessary so, mass of uh, mountain giants. Or yeah. not the other. So the Blade Master might be able to just pick him off one by one. Yeah. <laughs> it's gonna be fun. <laughs> <laughs> you remember uh, Goofy's laugh? <laughs> it's also Sonic's laugh, actually. You remember that uh, Super RTL Kids TV show with uh, Goofy's son and his buddy? Goofy and I Max, of called. course. Yeah, that was so awesome, dude. I love it. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Yeah, level three shadow now. Heal awards. Oh, that's very good. Yeah. Everyone Basically, loves no that damage during this creeping. And what we've got? Hood of Cunning. Decent dish to boost the damage. How does he want to kill the MGs, though? First armor upgrade already. Resistance skin and hardened skin done. I mean, you can just kill everything else. Right? Yeah, 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 yeah. Not that easy, of course, uh, no with the melee army to get past the front line, but Blade Master should be able to do it. With the greater invul as well, that's really nice. Heal scroll on the shadow. I wonder Still if he's heal using towers now, as he had the, oh, the wommel like that, that early. That would also one be tower, pretty good. Shot. Huh? One tower, one shot. Tower on the high ground, Neo. Yeah. Let's go. Yeah. Oh, here we go, right next to the trees first. All right. Check his supply stock. Can't go over 50. It loses the Dryad. Loses uh, Moon No, the Engine of War, I guess. It won't help in the defense. Shadowhunter a little far forward. Could be burned, but also nicely surrounded. This mountain giant is doing nothing. And TP out already. Tower got canceled. At least tower number one. Which is a big deal. Once there's like three towers here, this is unbelievably hard to get out of. Demon Hunter in the front, getting focused. Oh, but oh. actually Clock of Shadow's coming in during daytime, finally! <laughs> finally it makes a difference. But he's still surrounded there, like, he can't get out. The peons are hugging him. Uh, now he's not putting it up. Blade Master's taking more, more damage, he has no mana anymore. How does he want to get out? Oh my god. He oh my no god, mana. is he really gonna lose the blade now? He it's needs a big a mana invul, potion. Ah, oh, okay. Now it's opened up again. And the demon. Can he save him? Maybe. He'll pot. Last second from the shop right there. For how long? The U-Wave kicks in. And Tangle prevents the damage. But there's still enough Demon Hunter down. And the first tower is down. With that also. Bye-bye, Dryad. Blade Master is saved into the bag. Level 4 for the Keeper, though. Can the Trian save him somehow? He's got full mana. Needs to use some of his spells here. Seems a little Walkers. overwhelmed. But Cooper's forces also have diminished. Only 37 supply left for him. There's, there's also no shop, which is, I think, a mistake. Yep, absolutely. He has a lot of gold, needs mana to keep the pressure up. There we go. Makes a shop in the back now. Okay. Tower Could cancel. Be... That's a big deal. Ooh, so close. Trying to get this mountain giant now. Last bit of moon juice was used. 
But man, he's getting the kills with Entangle. Still, almost no mana used on this Keeper of the Grove. Would love to see this shop gone. Oh wow. Uh, MG are actually doing it. Blade. Are they? Ooh. So sick. Last heal scroll. A uh, heal oh, self. Cooper's still. Finally, Cooper's spending his money. He's water, was around 400 for yeah. a long time there. But Slipping reinforcements are coming out here from Czech as well. Another Dryad onto the battlefield. And another one soon after that. Oh, there's a big 7 supply kill around the corner. Blade Master still healing. Spirit Link used, but none of the blade. Wow. Oh my god, Cooper's losing everything. Jack's actually defending this off. Yeah. Is he? Shop's done. Second tower about to be done. Cooper has to get mana now in the shadow, protect his tower. His second tower. Ethereal form saves over and over, but there's still more entangled. We could just get the kills, heal potion on the blade. And the tower soak up the experience, so level 4 is around the corner, but 4 for the shadow hunter is going to be uh, hard. And the demon hunter is back. Yeah, and with the MG damage, it's actually not too hard to take out these towers. Level 5 keeper now. Oh boy, this blade is about to be toast. Mana burn, right clicks, blade down. This looks Ow. good for Jack. Potion used on the demon. 40 supply against 21. Yeah, towers, but with the summons, he will get it sooner than later. And with the mountain giants, of course, as well. Shadowhunter without mana doesn't do anything either. That's a bit of pill to swallow for Cass, uh, for Cooper, but this didn't work. Yeah, the late shop was a big, 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 big mistake. If he had that earlier, if he kept on healing his units, Blade Master could have been the sniper in the back, towers covering the other side. But that was not to be. GG from Cooper, and check does take this with 2-0. Yeah, three points for MTW, seven and two. This means Cascade has to win every single map remaining in this clan war. And the matches, as you can see here, are Cash versus Ace and Hawk versus Caspent. I don't want to spoil this or anything, but this is an incredibly tough task for Cascade. Yeah, it would be quite legendary if they still win this now. Yeah. Damn dude, that would be insane. We have but seen insane comebacks in the recent Warcraft uh, world and also here in W3IL. But this is basically Mission Impossible for, for, for Cascade right now. But they're gonna give it their best shot. Yeah. Gonna play the best that they can. Yeah. The two humans still remaining for Cascade against the orc and human from MTW. So next is a human mirror, Hawk versus Caspant. And uh, starts on Northern Isles, should be good. We have a little bit of a break here, so check out the Matcherino link for W3IL to support the biggest Western clan league with uh, maybe a dollar or two. Every single little contribution helps to keep this league running. Uh, for longer and of course if you want to help us out please take part in our WGL survey we want to improve the world championship of Warcraft alongside Netties and VSPN so let us know what you thought of uh, the world championships and how we can improve it so here are the links in chat W3IL and the uh, survey click that help us and we will see each other for match number four Hawk versus Caspant in a bit. Match wow. point for MTW. <laughs> it is, it's Hawk versus Caspant. Uh, Caspant in the red in the bottom left of Northern Isles. Hawk in the upper right. If Hawk wins one single map, MTW is in the semifinals against Oceanus. And he is by far the favorite here. So Caspant has to play the series of his life to keep uh, Cascade in the tournament. Hawk, of course, the big favorite in now his favorite matchup. At least uh, last I asked him, last time I asked him, which was uh, about a year ago at WGL 2018. Summer 20, no wait, when was it? Or maybe it was half a year ago? Anyways, doesn't matter, Neo, okay? We're gonna have Human Mirror here. We're gonna have MK first, okay. Whoa. Okay, On a little bit of Northern Isles. Are you serious? A little bit of extra entertainment, I guess. 
or he figured out how to play it safely. But what if you get attacked with level 2 AM? What do you do? Uh, or level 3 AM. Either is good. Well, bolts around and force a TP. And if you don't get this around? Can he well. play clap against the footies? Interesting. Okay. Well, is that Hawk like... throwing some shade at Caspant? Being like, yeah, whatever. I can win with MK. Maybe he wants to save some timings because at the WCGs up against TH and Infi. Oh, yeah. That's going to be a tough one. Moon's there as well. WCG's going to be fun, dude. Looking forward to it. So that's a normal spot and bigger mana wow. for a Mountain King. That's so lucky. <laughs> that's pretty much the best. So I wonder, does he go clap or does he go bash? With that item, I guess clap? I think so too. Would be... I guess nowadays you always go clap anyways, yeah. right? Clap it is. So break is of course not affected by clap, but everything else and especially like since tier two and a half, which you need for breakers, clap is so good. Yeah. According to Lolliot, clap is by far the most broken spell in the game. I tend to agree, actually. According to him, followed by critical strike and hex. I totally agree with the crit. Hex is strong, but I think it's okay. I also think hex. actually Curse is uh, very, very strong. Is it too strong? Not sure. No, no, no curse, curse is fine, Neo. Curse is okay. <laughs> Maybe we can pump it up to 40%. What do you think? <laughs> <laughs> and here we go. He's taking the expansion. Oh my god, dude. Caspin's right around the corner. Yeah. With slightly better scouting, this would be so scary. I think he's not sending anything over, right? He's walking there now. Ooh. In time, of course, there's Still a dangerous. lot of mana to use during this. No way! No oh! way! <laughs> Sniper AM! That Holy lasted crap. seriously insane. Level 3 around the corner with one more kill. Fireball coming in. Boom! Level 2 water elementals. He has no mana for this. Look but it's super MK fast. Inventory. Here comes Clap, though. MK inventory is bonkers. Absolutely ridiculous. Not level 3 yet. That water elemental would be his level up. Maybe even worth storm bolting. Clap again. Has to use the big mana soon. Wonder if he drops the pendant for it. I hope so. A town is under siege. Do it, Hawk. Do it. He needs this tower against the water elements, but he's not getting it. These water elements are too strong. And... He's got this around. Yep. Oh, just barely. But MK, what is he doing? Just running away for now. 60 HP. Can he go in? Stormbolt? Yes, he can. Surround again with Militia, maybe. Ooh. Clap! Follow up! Gets it! Level 3 saves him! Seriously, what a play by Hawk! This bigger mana! <laughs> These drops are so ridiculous. Yep. Yeah. Greater mana and pendant. One's not good enough, no. <laughs> Archmage back from the tavern that early on level 3. Hawk needs a shop though. Yeah. Okay, there we go. It's an expensive shop. Uh, aggression continues. No mana for this Archmage, but plus three damage. He keeps this Mountain King at bay for sure. Gets more kills, but the shop is up. How long can he prevent this Mountain King from reaching that shop? Oh, not focusing on the MK. Now he turns around. Everything is so yeah. low. <laughs> Tower is not coming up. How far is the tech of Casper? It's done. Oh my god, if he had a panda right now. Yeah. If he had any second hero right now. Yeah. Naga, Naga would be, be insane as well. Yeah. Double kill. Level 3.6. Is he getting the a. Arcade's gonna finish. And Mountain King, will he reach Ooh. the shop? No! <sighs> Man, game on a knife set for Hawk. Still no expo. Stop out though! Second kill, maybe he's Clap. trying to get this around us. Yeah! <laughs> <it's enough. laughs> he does it again! <laughs> the bold clap combo oh number two! And now he's level four, MK. And now he gets to the shop and heals everything up or the value <laughs> of this region scroll. He's trying to cancel it. 
And he does on the cost of a footman, most likely. That was nice usage there by Caspian. That was pretty cool. Yeah. Level 4 MK. Mountain King second for Caspian. And double Sanctum. No Expo, no tech for Hawk, though. Oh, he doesn't even have the Lumber right now for power build. Weird. <laughs> okay, now he does. Kind of. Oh boy, what a game! Caspian not giving this up, despite the early, uh, the early hero loss. Hawk's tech is gonna be so late, though. Ridiculous. Yeah, we're seven minutes in, and the tech isn't even close. He has zero lumber. <laughs> oh boy, but there was a lot of gold used on the hero revives. Oh, and the AM isn't back yet. This MK could be having a field day, killing his brother, Huggin. Versus Moonin. Oh, that clap. <laughs> oh, clap never ceases to amaze in this patch. Stormbolt, but no follow up. Caspin, this is Cascade's tournament life on the line, and he has no heroes on the field. Ouch. Another clap soonish. Okay, use it for a bolt. Well. Who needs tech when you have a level 4 MK, I guess? Well... Yeah. Holy shit, man, that was... A well-played Mountain King by Hawk. Going crazy with this dude. He always was a good Mountain King player. Okay. Pendant of Energy number 2. Let's go. <laughs> really? Really? Nope, claws. Heavy experience punish now from creeps on level 4 MK. Hard to reach level 5. Could of course do it by taking another medium camp or two. But footies are all hurt. He doesn't have healing right now. He needs to go back to the shop. Towers being set up. Still no tech though by Hawk. Yeah. He has a lumber mill now. So gets more lumber. Even swipes in a masonry upgrade. So still no, like, Mountain King still takes some time. Wait, oh, he's supply stuck. Player's forces are under attack. This MK uh, takes some time. Not working out too hot for Caspian right now. Creeping up further with the AM, but that's experience that won't be going to the second hero MK. Crystal Ball, looking in the main, seeing now the tech for Hawk. Finally on his way to tier two. Nine minutes. Under uh, Mountain King, level five, <laughs> close to it at least. Super tanky as well. Yeah. Good enough. More than a thousand HP already. Oh boy, and armor. Is that level five? Nope. Oh, 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 so close. But one more kill. Clarity is running. Here comes a zapper though. Can he break it against three towers? How quickly is he reacting? Not quickly mm, enough. Not at the zapper. Oh, oh the peasant blocked the way. That was lucky, man. I don't think that was on purpose. <laughs> nope, it wasn't. <laughs> but he has an invis MK, and guess what? We have a surround. Uh -oh. oh, invis cast against it though. Clap connects, but that's it. That's level five MK. Yep. He's stunned, but is the follow up damage enough? Clap to get away. Slows down the waters, they can't follow. There's a heal scroll and an invul. Mass build on this blacksmith. The invis casts are good by Caspin. No counter expansion. Just throwing it all into this push. Blacksmith is up though. Now very hard to take out. Uh, again, nice cancel on the MK yeah. Clarity. He's got more. So, tough. Town is under siege. so weird to see so many sorks in the human mirror. Oh, Caspin going for plan B right now. Seems like he now wants to go for the counter expo. Okay. But there's still creeps left there. Can the militia really take him out by themselves? 
Oh, the big boy is gone, so maybe they can. And stone close to level 2 for Caspin. Not close to level 5, though. Not using the militia type. And here comes Hawk. Waiting for the clap. Invo potion. Oh. Breaks the slow. Ouch. And that slows so uh. much. Whoa, dodges the storm Damn, by Invis. Dude. That was a sick, sick, sick play by Caspin. And now Hawk's out of mana. He can't do much more. Yep. No mana potion, no clarity. Dude, that Invis was so fast. Hawks going tier three with triple Griffin Aviary. Alrighty. A town is under siege. And a Blood Mage second. There's gonna be more mana on the MK. <laughs> I think he wants to go for later than the Banish Bold Griffin combo. <laughs> the most damage you can acquire in Warcraft. Yeah, only thing missing is Holy Light, but of course, his opponent is not undead, so it doesn't work. We never see yeah. that in uh, 2v2, right? Call Nova, Stormbolt Banish. Should mm. be insane on paper. Yeah, rare. I mean, what undead human combo is there? Yeah. Yumiko, Yumiko and WFZ. WFZ. Yeah. They had some cool plays. Fast Expo. Mass, mass Mortars. Yeah. <laughs> Ooh, clap again. Well, kind of easy to... Oh, he blocks him with the farm. Oh. So he has to fight his way out, but the Mountain King is like, okay, man, I don't care. I'm gonna kill everything. Clap oh, again. triple kill. Triple kill. A lot of invis. Stumble, not attempting a surround here. More mana. Oh boy, is he falling or TPing out? Looks like it's there another Stumble. Nope. And TPs out. Boy, did he get a lot of kills. Oh, the claps, man. <laughs> Players oh. are under attack. Oh, and now he's full mana with a siphon. Mmm, juicy, juicy. Oh, really good usage of the pendant as well. Pendant on the blood mage to use the siphon, then giving it back. Suddenly, full mana, full MK to be ready in a second. Yep. And the holy light being added in with the paladin and the griffins coming. <laughs> Ooh, that's gonna be a yeah. tough next hold for Caspin. Animal War Train as well. How much anti air is there? No level 3 water elementals yet. Caspin is kind of trying to rush it with level 3 as well. No rifleman, only casters. And they got wrecked by a clap already. Add some AoE from Griffins. Ouch. Yeah, it's gonna be. Uh... Possibly quite the yikes here very soon. Yep. Mountain King level 3 and Endurance. Why is it called Ancient Django? Is Django a musical instrument? Uh, I don't know. But it's... Okay, I don't know. I really don't know. Oh, nice choke. But... Oh, it is. It is? Okay, it clap is. again. Oh, these Invis casts are seriously sick. But this Mountain King has almost unlimited mana and Invis doesn't do anything at this point if you get hit by Clap. Oh, baby. <laughs> this is so surreal. All right, we have Banish now. Yep. Come on, come on. Banish Bolt. I'm not using it. So only one, like two towers, but these Griffins won't care. Ooh. Yeah, level two, held yep. already. Yep. That's pretty fast. Kills the towers in a heartbeat. Town portal's in. This is Cascade. It's last stand, most likely. But what is this? 46 supply. Oh! And... <laughs> That's really... Close to level six as well. He's trying to counter with a clap, but that doesn't do too much either. Actually, clap not that good against Griffins, as it turns out. Hawk trying to get a tank in. Paladin about to die. Can he reach? No, no mana. Staff out. 
Hawk can't attack the breakers, but the breakers can't attack the griffins either. Here we go, banish. No Mountain King follow up for now. Big in will board, and he needs it soon. Otherwise, he's dead now. Oh, that was a lot of healing, but the Archmage is suffering from it soon. Banish. Not good. Yes, the bold. And. Oh, hammer oh, me. Blood Mage falls actually. An invis save. Boah, Caspin has these sick plays here, man. But it seems like it's not enough. He's trying so hard. Mucho respect for him. Now the Mountain King battle looks, of course, better for Hawk. Archmage back with the scroll of healing. Invis again. Mountain King in for potion. And he soon has a Stormbolt again. Dude, can he kill this one? Can he surround him? There's nothing to save him. No TP, no potion. Also no mana. Needs to get in front, needs to get a surround, but fails. And GG. He lets the Mountain King get away, and that is MTW in the semi-finals. Much, much, much respect for Caspin and this uh, performance here. Sick place, but there was no solution against this Mountain King. And MTW always one step ahead. And therefore, they will face the Soviet war elite next week in the semi-final. Was kind of to be expected, of course. MTW, the big favorites here. Um, but yeah, Cascade putting up a good fight. Nice to see. And that's promising for the next season. Absolutely. Uh, surviving the group stage was uh, not a problem for them, really. On paper, they don't have a bit... Wait. What? It's over, right? H2. The admin is asking for vetoes, so... Shouldn't it be over? It is. During I league season, of course, uh, we play out all the games because the points mattered. Yeah. But... Uh, yeah, the okay. Playoff phase, that doesn't seem to make sense. Yeah, exactly. Uh, maybe we need Duro here. Duro! Get in here! <laughs> he was earlier. watching, but I'm pretty sure it's not. Uh... Yeah, I mean, we have to get uh, the second clan war on the road. Which is Firestalkers versus you, Matt, of course. Firestalkers? Hell yeah. Little bit of confusion, but yeah, okay. So, next clan war is starting. We have three clans in the semi-final. We have, uh, of course, the matchup of Soviet War Elite versus MTW. That's gonna be so hype, man. I can't wait for that. Um, and then we have Oceanus. Who will they play against? The Firestalkers with a legendary lineup um, or a legendary history in clan wars or you mad we'll see about that it's quite a quite a historic battle between the two clans remo will play as well and we go into a little break but the warcraft action doesn't stop here tell your friends last decision in the quarterfinals of w3il if you want to support this league feel free to use exclamation mark w3il in chat to get a link to Matcherino. every single dolero helps to keep uh, the biggest western league alive and to support more and more seasons for this beautiful league and of course if you want to help us out directly you find the links in the description too Plus, we have a survey up about WGL Summer. Please take part in that to make sure that we, Netties, and VSPN can improve the Warcraft World Championships for the Winter Edition. Your feedback is always appreciated and the Chinese listen a lot to it. So take your time, five to ten minutes. That's exactly how long this break is. So use your time uh, and see you in a bit. <laughs> 